I'm Zoe Williams, the voice of reason. If your relationship is in trouble, I'm the dude to call. Has your soulmate become your cellmate? Does black love still exist? What are your bedroom turnoffs? Fantasies and fetishes. Financial infidelity. I'm dating a fat person. Are they worth the wait? Trust me, this is gonna be crazy. How about the heavy stuff? The child wasn't his, and he still had to pay child support. It's a very heated topic. I was that right. Mama's baby, daddy's maybe. I just have so many questions I want to ask you. I don't like to kiss a woman's ass. Is there something wrong with that? Damn. <laughs> he told me he had a vasectomy. I'm pregnant. Trail has been committed. Hit you with a bad yeah. pipe routine. How does he maintain his humpacity? He likes it when it pinches my neck. Why can't you open up, brother? I'm a karate man. Karate man rules on the inside. They don't show their weaknesses. Yeah. How do you write women so well? So William. Reason and accountability. The voice of reason. The voice of reason. We got another amazing topic. Might as well turn that beat up. I can't work with her phone out like that. It's a distraction. Oh, she's it's the live to... chat. Yeah, I think she's talking to Tyrese. It's throwing me off. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> bad man. Ah! <laughs> hey, shit. Here we go. Yeah. You know it's about to be lit up in here. You already know how we do. Is, is it wrong for me not to feel sorry for nobody? I mean, when was the last time you empathy. felt sorry for anybody, PM? I don't know. Maybe like eighty nine. That was the last time. I don't Ooh, know. I don't Lord. know. I don't feel sorry for nobody. <laughs> Why not? But, I'm talking about when it's self imposed. Oh well. You know, like a friend of mine. She said her dog, you know, got ran over and killed and shit. I'm like, so what? <laughs> the dog didn't love you. Oh shit! You about to Richard Parker her? I, the dog didn't love you. He didn't. That's why he was trying to run away from her. I don't feel sorry for anybody <laughs> when it's self-imposed. <laughs> Johnny Mac, who you talking about? You know, I just I just said his name, you Tyrese talk, Gibson. You I talking about Tyrese? I don't feel sorry for him. I know mm-hmm. Tyrese. I've been knowing him for like since '96. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't get it. You don't feel sorry? Nope. Not not in the least. Not at all. Shit. You, you don't even give yep. a fuck of how we run the show over here. Not really. <laughs> you didn't do the intro, I didn't no do promo, no, intro. no just, nothing. Johnny just started talking. Is it? I didn't, are we on? It's, <laughs> yes, they're live. You didn't give no intro. I don't you, know. you didn't hear the intro? Oh, that was part of the intro? <laughs> uh, hey, I, I've never, this is my second time here. I don't know the rules. Johnny over here, man. Johnny wild and a motherfucker, man. Yeah, you got, your, your, your engineer's on the phone. She's on the phone. I don't. You don't, you don't even know how any of this shit is supposed to be happening. I really don't. <laughs> Johnny mother fucking Mac. That's on my birth certificate. You under the dig? Foxhole <laughs> radio legend. That's true. You under the dig? How fun was that, Zoe? Man, that shit was so fun. Zoe was so goddamn smart. I used to hate when he came in. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> it wasn't like smart. that. This nigga know all the Jeopardy answers. God damn it. <laughs> Zoe was a genius. Man, was. I try, man. I try. Still is. We did a show together twice, right? Yeah. Hey, Phil, go let Mimi in. Whoever's yes. supposed to be at the door ain't even here. Go yeah. let her in, man. No, yeah. No one's out there. Yeah, Mimi drove in a Mini Cooper. Okay. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're silly. Here we go. <laughs> I was like, I know what Johnny Mac. Drive. It definitely is not a Mini Cooper. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to the Voice of Reason on Dash Radio. We got a great topic today, but you already know what is commonplace for this show. I got a few things I need to promote. I'm going to be at the Black Power Awards uh, in Atlanta this month mm. on the 18th. Hey. hey, Mimi. That's nice right there, Zoe. Yes, indeed, right? Mimi, just delicious. Somebody flying you out there? Yeah, man. Spirit Airlines? No, I'm not I'm not <laughs> getting on the air. I'm not Never. flying on something called Spirit, Pimp. <laughs> I almost had a bad joke. <laughs> almost had a bad joke. But let me just say this. Um, I'm honoring Rakim. Yes. You know, legendary rapper Rakim. They're having true. a special acknowledgement of the great... MC, and I'm going to be acknowledging him, for, you know, at this after party. It's going to be dope. I'm also doing a relationship dismount, my latest book, The Relationship Dismount How to Stick the Landing When Exiting a Toxic Relationship. I'm doing a workshop down there, I think, on that Friday, the 17th. 
All my Atlanta folks in the building, y'all want to come down, kick it with your boy. We're going to have a relationship roundtable centered around this book. A lot of people say they, uh, a lot of people have purchased this book in Atlanta and they're going to come with their copy. See, that's so, so smart. So I can sign it. That's smart. Do it, people. That's what we do. Come doing. with your questions. I'm telling you, I'm going to be on your head, though. Don't come down there with that bullshit now. <laughs> so don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> it's going to be real. Sweet tea for everybody. Sweet tea for everybody. Mm, sweet tea. I'm about the bar. And then the other thing I got to give acknowledgement to is total package yes. energy. Man, I love that shit. Do you, do you, it's is the it, light and the truth. Yes. That's the truth <laughs> and the light. I try to tell people I don't promote bullshit. This is the coldest energy shot on the market. Sound like a game. name to a porn movie. Okay, here we total go. Package. Total package. Hey, even my oh, cat is, shit. even my cat is advertising now. Y'all see my total picture? Package. Hilarious. Total package. Let me lay my package on your shoulder, <laughs> baby. <laughs> totally lay his package on your shoulder. Oh, <laughs> on the Lord. small of your back. Right. 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 Who so, doesn't like baby batter? <laughs> baby batter? I didn't come in for this. On your back? On, on your, your stomach. Back. On the stomach. Oh my okay. god. Total right. package well, I call it stomach pancakes when it hits you on the stomach. Oh, oh wow. shit. Well, it, we about to wild out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's up in here already. <laughs> so total package energy, man. You got to get there. Support these guys. This is a top shelf product. I always say if you're a, a truck driver and you're driving across country or something like that, this is better <laughs> than Monster or Five Hour Energy. Yes. In, in my estimation, Red Bull, it's better than all of that. If you're a student... And but it's Apparently. designed for athletes, right? Mm-hmm. You know, it's just the homie out of Oakland, Anthony Agleton and his team. What, what if I'm a PlayStation athlete? Can I still use that it? too? Stay yeah. up all you'll, night. You'll my right. stamina in PlayStation and Madden is, is ev- everlasting. Right, well, you'll, be up, hey. you'll be up all night playing. What? Play how they play. I play one day until the Super Bowl come up. Now, you under it. You under it. I'm great. Now look, I got one more thing to promote that I think is very important. And that's Android Ohm. Yes. Mm. The luxury sneaker brand. Love designed em. here in Los Angeles, but handmade in Italy. Mm-hmm. I got a pair of the red python, the low top red pythons oh, coming. Oh, shit, just, man. I've been on that red shit for a minute. Mm-hmm. You didn't get yes, nothing, you Tiffany? Have. Mimi, y'all didn't I get nothing? I would say... I wish I had a boo to buy these shoes because I right. would, but yeah. I ain't got no boo. So. Me neither. But, but you've been married before, right? Yeah, if I was with my ex, those are the kind of shoes he would like, and I would have been bought them already. Right. Yeah, they're fly. You would have bought them for so you, or you would have bought them for him? I would have bought them for him. They don't have a ladies' line yet. This is my order right here. Yeah, yeah no, they're fly. I would buy them for yeah, that's, someone that's if high. I had someone. That's so high. I don't well, why have Why ain't got nobody? Have. What's going on? Oh, shit. You know. Johnny, stop. Let, let, don't let get it. into it today, okay? <laughs> well, why why right. you by yourself? Y'all must can't cook. Oh, I could cook now. But I like what's your... Top ramen, and, saying, oh, no, 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 no. Top ramen and checkout. spam chunks is not Italian oh, no, food. No, 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 no. I make the full Thanksgiving <laughs> feast. Not yeah. a dinner, oh, yeah, but yeah. the feast. Stove top stuff? That's not. No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. No, 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 no. I cook like no, somebody's Mimi's grandma. A she know how to get okay, down. Okay, no, I get Have down. you eaten a food before? Man, I can just look at her, you know. No, 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 no. Seriously, on some real shit, I love food. You feel me? Some people yes. live to eat and some people love to eat. I love to eat and I love to cook. Well, let's cook something then. Okay, yes, so let's have a dinner. Out. Okay, so what y'all want to do? We'll have give me your Postmates house. account. Give me your Postmates account. Yeah. That's oh, all I, don't you have, got I don't have a Postmates account. You don't mess with that. I don't, I will, I don't I will, have one of those. Shit, me, me, I live I'll in the marina. I can just walk where I want to yes. go. Me, me After tripping. the six-week challenge, uh-huh. I'll be right there at Mimi's house. Okay, so no, let's plan a little something, something. <laughs> we'll discuss, and then everybody uh, yes. come, you and we'll kid, throw I down. And then I'll like, show. I'm not coming. No, I eat we'll chitlins. definitely be there. Oh, no. Well, I'm not going to make no chitlins. I eat chitlins. That's my favorite food. Oh, okay. Mm. But I'll make you some green jam, macaroni and cheese, dressing, black I don't eat yams. Everything else I eat, but I need some chitlins. Okay, well, I'm not going to Every Sunday after church, I go down to M&M's. That's what I get the same meal every time. Some chitlins. chitlins. You got what them the right. Fuck? What you about corn so up right now? If I can drink vodka, if I can drink Hennessy, I can eat some goddamn chitlins. Mm, uh, I don't think I ain't never heard nobody OD off of chitlins. Now your mama made chitlins and your grandma made chitlins. Hey, wait, Johnny Mac, didn't, didn't, didn't you see them. the movie Soul Food? <laughs> I didn't like it. She she OD'd off of chitlins. Too nah, much. she OD'd off all that bad acting that was going on in the <laughs> fucking movie. <laughs> you know what? You are Ladies I've seen and better gentlemen. acting at the flea circus. <laughs> 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 it's about to go down today's topic you know i love getting topics from the listeners the listeners are always mm-hmm. sending me topics 
And if you want to, hey, if you want to send your topic to me, here's how you do it. Email me, 2319zo1 at gmail.com. That's 2319z as in zebra, O as in Oscar, 1 at gmail.com. Send me your topic, and you never know. Shit might become a topic on the show. Yes. Like tonight's topic. Oh, shit. Somebody is dealing with some heavy shit. So you, done, I, you done said tonight's topic five times, and you ain't gave it to me yet. I'm about to. I'm sitting on the edge of my seat. That's why I'm doing that. <laughs> You're supposed to be on the edge of your seat. He's ready to hear the next words that are coming out of his mouth. And they are... Do you understand me and Johnny have been doing this shit for years? <laughs> <laughs> we did. I love it. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, oh, shit. Johnny Mac, the topic. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, 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 seriously. Drum roll. Misery addicts. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. The straight up truth about why you are miserable... In your life and relationships. Ladies. Now, this is designed for the ladies to really go in. I got questions. Let me rattle mm-hmm. off a few questions to give you guys, you know, somewhat <laughs> of a perspective here. What causes people to be miserable and or unhappy? Ladies. <laughs> ladies. <laughs> do you have a misery virus? Oh, some do. Gosh. Mm-hmm. Have you caught That's it sad. and have you passed mm-hmm. it on? Uh, no, but Gosh. they got it. Why does misery love company? Mm-hmm. True or it false? Does. Gratitude has been scientifically proven to strengthen your immune system and make you happy and more optimistic, as well as less lonely and isolated. True or false? Call us right now. The number to dial is 323-230-4610. I want to know why you ain't... Shit. We're going to keep going. <laughs> so if you voted yeah. for Donald Trump, that's what's happening. Right. So fuck your life up. Right. Does it seem like some people just choose to be miserable most Ooh. of the time? Yes. Don't you hate that? Has misery become comfortable? Is misery your Linus blanket? 323-230-4610. One more question, then I'm throwing it to the panel. Wow. Do you know someone who's miserable yep. because they feel lonely even though they're currently in a seemingly healthy relationship? Mm. I.e., is everything in place but nothing feels quite right? Mm. Egad. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to throw it to the panel. Johnny motherfucking Mac, a.k.a. Foxhole Legend. Oh, First of all, shit. your topic hey. is way tougher than uh, Hip Hop Squares. Oh. I'm going to throw that out there right now. <laughs> you are funny. God damn, so give me one at a time. Okay. Right. He what causes people you. to be unhappy, nigga? <laughs> it's usually uh, money. Okay, I like that. It's, you know, maybe you don't have, but uh, are we speaking Hollywood or just in general? In general. I, well, I know in Hollywood's high, another monster. Okay. Yeah. Use this money. You don't have the money that you should have or you were striving for, or you don't have the career or the job that you were seeking for. You went to college and majored in uh, uh, marine biology, and you're working at Sears. <laughs> so real. Sears is still around me. But, see, but then, you know, but, <laughs> but if that happens, so when I get in a relationship with uh, Francine, I'm not happy about myself. Right. So I can't get a positive vibe to Francine because I'm miserable. Mm-hmm. Like, bitch, I got to go here every day. I got to wear the same shirt and tie every goddamn day. I've never had a job, so I don't know what people wear to work. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> right, but that shit they wear. Yeah, I guess they wear shirt and ties. Uh... I don't know. I don't know what you wear. You got a uniform. I got to wear this goddamn Popeye's uniform every goddamn day. <laughs> Going home smelling like chicken and, and fries. Ain't nothing wrong with that, though. <laughs> <laughs> Throw that ain't no goddamn good. cologne, Johnny. Chicken and fries ain't a cologne. <laughs> if you're fat, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you smell good. Let me bite you. <laughs> if you're Man. fat, you know, hot sauce. But it's usually money. <laughs> yeah. I like that, it's, Johnny. It's usually money. I like that. Uh, Tiffany? Uh-oh. Oh, so he said money already, so I don't need to repeat that. But yours but... is transgender, probably. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> you, you, really... you, you miserable because was... you transgender? <laughs> I was, oh, outside wow. of just money in general, I think it would just be la- feeling lack of achievement. Mm. Again, like you're miserable because of lack you find in yourself. So you just can't be happy because you either haven't met goals or you think you're entitled to more or whatever. So, yeah, mm. lacking in self. I like that. I, I was mm-hmm. going out with this girl, and she was mad at me. I was working on, I forgot what show I was working on. I was working on some TV show. I forgot the name of this motherfucker. 
I was working on a TV show and she was like, had a regular job. And I was messing with her and she got met, like crying on the floor. It's not fair. I got to get up at 430 and you've been fucking around all day. I'm like, hey, bitch, <laughs> don't get mad at me because you ain't got no talent. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, shit. And there's Johnny Mac, Richmond oh, in the building. But am I, I, but am I telling the truth? You can't get mad at me and my so-called um, measure of success. No, right. but you know what Johnny Mac hits on a on a uh, is funny, but he hits on a real serious point, mm-hmm. right. and that is the point of comparison. Yes, yes, a lot of times people are miserable because they're comparing what they have to what someone else is. Right, you know, someone else has. That's exactly. Beautiful. And looking at Johnny, you know, living the life of leisure in comparison to what she, because a lot of times people will look at Johnny's life and think it's a life of leisure, but the motherfucker work hard. Right, right. They don't understand what it takes to do it's what a he does. It's right. a hustle. Though. I, I don't use the word hustle. Okay. A hustler is someone that makes a dishonest living, but but it's like oh, shit. I, I'm a writer. No, not, it could be a hustler. Not, not but absolutely, that's not, Johnny. Hey, when you pray, to you gotta. We, we get to tell you later. When it says pray, you gotta ask what you really want. This you can't true. say, "Lord, bless me in my hustle." <laughs> yes, you can. I used to hustle. God understand what we're saying. He knows. No. Yes. The words. He said the tongue is the littlest member, but it kindles a big fire. Who on earth contain oh, the tongue shit. of man? Yeah. What you Reverend ask for Johnny. is what you're going to get. Am I right? Sure. You do need to be specific. You're going to manifest what you speak. But, you know, you being real specific, Johnny Mac. But, but, uh, <laughs> but, but to go to Zoe, like, like I work as a writer. If I don't sell what I write, then I don't eat. Right. 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 You know, so you may say, oh, you know, like, like my friend, i I'm going out with right now. She, uh, I just wrote a script and I got you know X amount of dollars. She was like mad. You ain't even get outside all month, bitch. Don't worry about what I did all month. You know you can't be with her, pimp. Yeah, you she, can't never be with somebody that's comparing the size. But she's you in up. A, she's in a relationship and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole other conversation. She right. been going out for two years. I've been going out for twenty days. Damn it, Mimi. <laughs> right, 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 right. Mimi, what causes people to be unhappy in your estimation, love? I think that if they don't love themselves or they are looking at everyone else and comparing themselves and they're not accepting who they are, mm-hmm. you know, you have to love yourself first and foremost before you can even love another person. What if so, I ain't shit? Should I love my I ain't shitness? You need to know you and love you and work on you. Then once mm-hmm. you realize what ain't shit, work on what's not shit and make Amen. it some shit. Get some toilet paper, niggas. No, I just flush it down the toilet. <laughs> I just keep spraying myself <laughs> with some Febreze. Well, you never shit. know I ain't shit. Ooh, Lord. Right. Well, that's right. Well, some people, that's what they do. That and is they what never they and they never look at themselves. They but spend I'm saying, a lot of time faking it. Right. And they blame everybody else, everything that everyone else does. That That's they true. do, they blame other people because they're not being real with themselves. But if you take a minute and be real with yourself and say, you know what? I own that. I did that. You mm-hmm. feel me? I think that's the beginning of any person being successful. You need to love yourself. Before but let you me can just say you. this. A little yes. cliche is. No, that's really. No, it's, uh-huh. you, you might think it's a platitude, but it's really serious. Yeah. You have to love so yourself. So many people loathe themselves right. loathe. Yes. Yes. this is why loathing opens the door for comparison yes. loathe, self-loathing opens the door for comparison it opens the door for envy it right. opens mm-hmm. the door for jealousy mm-hmm. all of that and all of those things open the door for, for misery. misery exactly mm-hmm. I, I so that's exactly what I was but, but can somebody like say I'm not a good dude I'm miserable can somebody come in my life and make me happy no one can come yeah. from the outside in. I, I beg to differ. We'll say more. Let's hear it. Well, this, I'm going way back to 1990. I don't know, 91, 92. I'm fresh out. I still got waves. You, remember, you know, <laughs> nigga, you got finger waves, my nigga. No, nigga, I had I, I had a brush like every day, nigga. I brushed myself. Okay, so you had Dax. Yeah, I had. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I, cool. I had the thick ass grease that gave me some waves. <laughs> And I and I, I was going down the, the wrong path because it's the only path I know because my man he knows where we come from. Right. I didn't I didn't know anything. I just knew, you know, like she said, I'm a hustle. I'm a sell this. I'm a sell that. I'm a see this nigga at the ATM late at night. I'm a rob him. I'm a steal this. I didn't know anything. And I met this girl, and uh, 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 she was going she 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 was going to San Francisco State. And uh, I just saw the way you know I was like I don't really fuck with college girls because I don't want to ruin your life because I'm gonna ruin <laughs> your life because my life is you know. So whatever. So I started going out with her, and I just saw her positive. She was so positive. She knew who she was going to be. Mm-hmm. She was going to graduate from this school, San Francisco State. She was going to go to fucking get a master's. She's going to go get this. I couldn't even say the word forensic science. I'm like, bitch, what is that? You, you got a Bunsen burner in the backyard? I don't, I don't even know what this is. And then she was so positive, I just kept watching her, and I said, I got to step my game up. Right. She gave me a right. book when she was in, a, you know, her homework, whatever you call it. 
and I couldn't read the book. Mm-hmm. Like it literally was just too hard. It was just too hard. I'm like, yeah. no, 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 but Johnny, Johnny, you're proving my point right now. But she came in and her positive, she was so positive, she was going such in the right path, it changed my outlook. But you, mm-hmm. but see, you're proving my point. People don't change you. You change you. Right. No, she was a, she changed me. She no, was a yeah, positive. She was influence. a catalyst, but you still just, had to make the change. Yes. yes. That's yes. What just you could have been saying. around her and not changed. Right. Just because no. she's doing good doesn't mean you have to say you're going to do good. That's right. just like some people are born from parents that are bad, and they'll say, well, I'm bad because my daddy was bad. No, you made the choice. You seen what the right. nigga was doing, and you could have either A, been better, or what's, been that same shit. Just, just like my people. Point. I just said, like, I saw her. And her, uh, I ain't gonna use the word omnipotence. I saw her doing her thing. <laughs> and I, did, her I wanted to do, I, I, you know, her greatness. I saw, I, I saw her doing her thing, and I wanted to be a part of it. I said, I can do bigger and better. Now I know the, the opposite word here is that I, and I said I can do it, but she showed me the light. Well, let me go deeper. That's what she said. Oh, I love the way. I, I love. <laughs> you just proved my point, nigga. <laughs> Shit, I love this nigga right here. <laughs> she her. showed him the light. Right. So the word guru. Yes. The mm-hmm. Hindu Sanskrit word guru. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It means guru. It means the speller of darkness. <laughs> and what happens with a lot of gurus from India and people follow them. That's kind of terrible. It all all she did was dispel the light, the darkness. All okay. she did was turn on the light. Right. right. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of times what we listen, you know what else can save our lives? A stop sign. Mm-hmm. Right. But we don't get out and praise the stop sign for being a symbol. Right. Right. Th- that's all someone who inspires you to do better is, is a symbol. Right. You see them. Right. They're a pointer. It's not they changed your life. It's that you recognize something in them that if it wasn't in you would have been unrecognizable. Right. Because mm-hmm. you, you only respond to what you know. Right. Mm-hmm. So right. Johnny might have been doing bad, but he wanted to do good. Right. And right. then he saw her. Right. And then had an example of what he needed to do in order to change. Right. Right. So yeah. And plus, she worked for the FBI. I didn't want to go to prison. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, it was a bad. It was a bad uh, hookup. It's true. And then there's that part. It was true. But <laughs> but you're right, Zo. I mean, <laughs> it was like, and and like what, what we do, like in as far as relationship, me, I look for somebody that's better than me that can help me. To get where I need to go. Maybe, maybe I'm lacking. You're uh, a user. Maybe, yeah, yeah he's trying to be the first man on the show to right. actually say that. They always right. be sounding like it's just the ladies that exactly. said it. Johnny Mac just I, said you know he's looking Mac, for somebody you better. Shit. But, but you I'm know using, I'm you using, I'm using, using your great qualities. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like um, I never had great English. As you can see, I just used a double negative in that sentence. I, I, don't, I don't have great English. <laughs> but I like people that, you know, that, that speak very well. Okay, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, um, um, like, like in the entertainment business, I don't, I don't want nobody. So more like compliments, where they fill your gaps. Uh, yeah, they leave don't by fill example. my gaps. I, I don't know if men have gaps. Yeah, I don't know. Not that ca- Lord Jesus. <laughs> the fuck? What just happened here? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm miserable now. <laughs> I don't know. She, she. I, I believe this. This person changed my life. You know what I'm saying? And and um, it, it happens all the time. Somebody can show you. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm not giving the credit. I, I am giving the credit to her. She she did it. Okay. You did it because you had all the. I had all the. We had all the bad influence. Even in a relationship, I had all the bad influence. <laughs> Everybody, they were like, ah, nigga, you don't take you. Don't, you taking her out, nigga? You paying for her food? You paying for her drinks? That's what I'm supposed to do, nigga. Yes, this is true. I'm supposed. Right. I'm supposed to go pick her up. <laughs> But you know what? Just imagine if you're in a class and there's a professor, right? And he has 30 students in the class, right? And out of the 30 students, 20% ditch. The other... How many per- is that? How many? 80% is still in the class. So 80% is still in the class, right? I'm, I'm just showing something to you. So, so let's just say all the class is not paying attention, but a couple of them are like you, and they're learning a lot from this professor. They're like, he's changing my life. But what happened was he didn't change all their lives because all of them didn't see the light. All of them didn't say, right. I want to make that change. It was the certain ones that heard from the professor is the ones that locked into it and said, you know what? I, I love this professor. He's right. he's tapping into where I want to be. And they say, I love that professor. But someone else would say, oh, that food was all right. I didn't even go to that fucking class. That weird nigga. I mean, right. everybody has their own perspective. My point that I'm making is even though you're giving her the credit, my point 
point is uh, someone would give the professor the credit and someone else would say, I don't like that professor. He was no good. I ditched his class and fuck him. So it just, wow. you know what I mean? You get right. what I'm trying to say. Like yeah. everyone's pretty about like that nigga being ready to receive it. Burgers. Right, <laughs> right. No, 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 you're right. No, no, you're right. But I'm just saying everyone's light doesn't come on. You could be in the same place at the same time but, and your light is still off. But can I be honest? It's usually, I ain't, I, I'm just going to be honest. Women usually changes Men's perspective and help us get along. Oh better. no 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 he hey. no you no, right about that. Right. No, we, we really don't know I what we, we really nah, don't know I can what agree we're with doing. that. I agree. I agree as well. Agree. Most men we don't but, know what the fuck we doing. And I would say a good woman though we have to practice yeah, that. Yeah, good, yes, a good woman. Like a good woman who who knows her shit, knows her self worth, knows her power, can really really change the trajectory of a man's life. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, I give him right. that. Absolutely. And I'm I'm you know like go for my mother. My mother um. She 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 told us the, the right way to go. My father didn't do shit. My father well, told damn, us. Johnny, my father told me to be at work thirty minutes before you start. What? Nigga, I don't have a job. I'm selling crack on the corner. <laughs> we'll be there earlier than everybody else. Nigga. <laughs> right. But you know what? <laughs> we don't know what the fuck you're talking every. about. But that was just because you were also a good child to listen to your mom because some people will get knowledge from their mother and father and never listen to it. Yeah. It's so, just, so you know what I mean? Like you you can give your kids advice and say don't date. Larry, he's bad news, and your kid will be meeting Larry in the hallway. I tell my daughter, I'm, I'm just saying, not maybe I tell your my daughter, child. Don't date but, white people. Right. You, you, you date a white boy, don't come home. I'm out. Well, you basically saying, <laughs> I didn't ain't say no Larry black was dude's white. Name Larry. I wasn't even calling and him a white a, boy. I wasn't even making it a white boy. That, uh, so that was a show we did. Remember that? <laughs> I was looking remember for a uh, gang member. What show was it? The show me and you did in, in Atlanta. Uh, I forgot the name of that show. Oh, Black Men Reveal. And they were talking about what would happen if your daughter. Uh, your, your child came in with a, with a white person. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm out. Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> Johnny Max said it on TV. I'm out. I'm out. You're out. I'm done. <laughs> We're over. And, and then some girl was like, you know, love is blind. Love is blind, but I'm not. I knew that was a white bitch when I walked over there. You know what? Now, God damn it, don't, don't blame love. Right. Don't blame love. And so, racism is alive and well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Back to the topic. True or false? Question for all of you. <laughs> Painful long-running relationship dramas are caused by two people trying to occupy the victimhood position at the same damn time. Oh, hell yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. These niggas are having the victimhood Olympics in their relationship. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Absolutely. But, right. but is that a relationship? If, yes. If me and Tiffany is arguing, fussing, and fighting over who's going to take out the trash, are we really in a relationship? Yeah. It's, are it's we just there because one. we're comfortable with one another? We're, that's not a relationship. That's not love. Love is love is peaceful. Love no, is joy. Said love. We said relationship. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm we're sorry. not that's using true. them synonymously. That's true. <laughs> Johnny Mac is in love. Somebody got Johnny Mac. <laughs> right. You in love, Johnny Mac? Actually, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hope you listen to whoever that is he talked I'm, to. Right. I'm really not. I, I I I don't date people in L.A. I, I can't take it. We can <laughs> we can go out. We can kick it. But we can't date. Oh, okay. so you Netflixing and chilling, and that's it. Nah, right. I, I, no, I don't want you over for Netflix. You just Listen, want, you just want to chill. Go I, <laughs> I want to hear <laughs> from some people seriously yeah. that's going through it. Right. If you're in a miserable situation, call me right now. The number to dial is 323-230-4610. I have relationship specialists and life... <laughs> Life guide and coach Johnny Mac in the building. <laughs> right. He gonna tell you that real shit. I got Mimi who always keeps it real. And a then good cooking ass. Right. And then you we have what? I'm just saying. You said you can cook. Oh, I can cook. Oh, I thought you said. <laughs> and then we have our girl, resident therapist, hey. allegedly counselor. Allegedly. <laughs> Tiff talk in the building. Call us right now. The number to dial is 323-230. 4610. I know there's a lot of people who are struggling in a relationship because they're not getting what they want. Man. But could it be it's you? It's what you want that's causing the frustration yeah. and the misery in your life? Right. Because your ass ain't learned how to appreciate what you already have. Hey. Right. That's real talk right there. There's a lot of motherfuckers marginalizing and downgrading what they got. In hopes uh, and fantasizing for some shit that they don't have, or, <laughs> or they want too much. Uh, but maybe right. you want too much. That's, that's half the problem, <laughs> right? You yes. always want, you know, girl. I'm just talking about women. Always, but they want this. This guy got to have this. He got to do that. He got to do this. He got to do that. And bitch, you dropped out of nail school. 
Not nails. <laughs> now, 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 you don't deserve me. It's Koreans out here killing your ass. Right. Bitch, I need a few. You, you, said you don't deserve me. Because you can ask any girl, and they're going to name off all the shit they want, the qualities they want the man. They never say love. They want a guy that he got to be 6'3", he got to have this, he got to drive that, he got to work over here, he got to play for the Lakers. They don't even want niggas that play for the Clippers. They want a nigga that play right. for the Lakers. Nigga, you're a failure. You play for the Clippers. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are just, you just gonna lose in the first round, nigga. So we're done. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They want too much. And you never what do you bring to the table? Wow. So right there, there's a there's an imbalance right there. I'm doing my thing. I'm going to work. I got, you know, so I'm on a show, and you are out of work actress. Wow. <laughs> Johnny, let's get these callers in. Yeah. What's up, callers? Welcome to the voice of reason. What it do? That wasn't me. Just for let y'all know that. Oh they shit, they there. hung up. We got Boost another. in the building. <laughs> hey, what's up, caller? How y'all doing? What it do? Okay. Uh, hey. Welcome to the Voice of Reason. Hello. Hi. Hello. How you doing, Goddess? Hi. This how are Ebony. you? Hey, hey Ebony. Ebony. Hey. Goddess. Hey. How y'all doing? What's good. going on? We good, love. So speak yes, on it. I call, I, I called and uh, spoke with Zoe earlier today. So I just want to get some opinions, guys. I just turned 30 September the 29th, okay? You just turned what? 30. 30. So y'all don't, y'all don't judge me, okay? I'm still young-minded. A little bit. Okay. Well, 38 but, old, so. <laughs> it ain't y'all. Yeah, Go get I your 30-year-old car and see how it look. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey. But no. Okay, so here's the deal. I've been with my daughter's father since 2010. Oh. I had my daughter in 2013, so she's four. Okay. My daughter has cerebral palsy, so she's mm. not able to, like, walk or talk or do anything like that. But she's a vibrant, she's vibrant. She, you know, she expresses everything, everything like that. But she's not able to do everything, you know, a young child does. Okay. Um, me and my daughter's father we you know we get into it i'm a libra he's an aquarius so sometimes we do bump heads and um the last time we did bump heads which was on the 22nd of last month he put me and my daughter out Ooh. what's wrong with that what what the special it? needs no, the like, baby what? has special needs we need to take care of the special i'm needs. quite sure the mother was able it's to take nothing. care of the baby Ebony, it's so what nothing, happened? Listen, it's nothing wrong with him putting us out. So but it's the continue, it's the continuously of putting us out. You know, I've had my own apartment, he has his own apartment, and we've been back and forth, you know, for seven years. It's not the fact that he's doing that and, you know, putting us out. It's the fact, like, he's, you know, this time he put an ex parte order out on me, which <gasps> means a restraining order, which means he we can't be 100 feet within each other. Um, you know, and it's just... It's just like getting ridiculous. So I just want to know, like, what should I like continue to do, like, to love this man, or should I like leave this man alone? And that's my opinion. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking for like a, a honest opinion. So let me do this real quick. Mm-hmm. She gonna hate me. Let me answer. let me set it up. The caller just called in. Uh-huh. She's basically saying her daughter is special needs. Right. Right. Sorry to hear that. Now, her and her guy who's the father of this child, got into it real bad. Several mm-hmm. times. They go Several back times. They go back and forth. Correct. Several times. Correct. So then... And I and I keep going back. So then he so <laughs> put her and the daughter out. And Correct. her question now is, should she go back or should she leave this situation? Now, what does she no, think? He put a- he put a restraining order on me. You forgot that part. Oh, again. my bad. My <laughs> bad. He, he put the restraining, he put the restraining order. order on me, too. Okay. Look, can I say it? You got me. Okay, cool. He put oh, the restraining order. I see, I see okay. why he put you out. You won't let him finish. <laughs> you know what? You know what? <laughs> I think I'm feisty. I'm sorry, Zoe. Well, there you go right there. Go ahead, Zoe. All right. So, I mean, just for the YouTubers who, who can't hear, I just want to make sure that they could hear it so they got the story. He put a restraining order on her. Uh-huh. And now she's contemplating whether she should go back to him or not. Well, she can't. He has a restraining yeah, order. Right. She can't go back. Why Why did he put a restraining order yeah. on this, you in the first place? This, 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 this is the first restraining order. This is the second restraining order that he's put God damn. On. So okay. I've been back in the house and we've been acting as we're a family and doing everything we're supposed to do. 
But like I said, I'm a Libra and he's an Aquarius. So his sign like trumps my sign all day. And when he gets set in his way, he gets set in his way. No, mm. but you what? still didn't she say said, what, yeah. why did the, what did the you restraining do? order get, you know, why did let's they just, the let's just, let's just because cut right he, to it. Let's says, just cut. He says, I have a reckless mouth. Like, I don't put my hands They on don't do I'm restraining orders for mouth. So sure don't. Okay, no. but listen, they don't normally do restraining orders unless it's something more. Unless you unless say, I'm going to kill you. Unless you say, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to come see you, nigga, tonight. What did you do? No, no, no. That's not true. This is the second time this, is, this has happened. This is the second time. And he had, there's no, I, we didn't go to no court order. We didn't go to no court dates or nothing like that. Like the first time we went to a court date and they gave me my stuff out of the house. This second time he did this, there was no court dates or anything. He went down there in order to, to keep me from the apartment that he's in right now. She asked you. She asked so you. Maybe said, what did you do? Like that. That's half your probably won't listen. I didn't do anything. I called the police to ask the police, can I get my daughter's stuff out of his house? No, no. She said, what did you do to cause this young man to give you a restraining order? They don't give you a restraining order because you can't cook. Oh, no, what no, happened? Because I, because, I was, because I was talking reckless. What, what the fuck because is reckless? I what did you say? Did you threaten him? I did. I told him they're going to give my daughter, because my daughter is fed through, a, uh, through a, fee, a feeding tube. Okay. And I told him that if he didn't give me my daughter shit, I was going to kick into his fucking apartment and get my daughter stuff. But that, that guy so, was yeah. on it right there. No, for mm. what? You, this is like, so you, so you're going to straighten the order out because you won't give me my daughter's feeding tube? Like, that's, that's crazy. It sounds a little fishy. So well, I don't I'm just know. Gonna, it sounds more like a legal no, thing right no, 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 now no, no, than no, no, the relationship right. part of it. Right. So yeah. I'm just going to ask a couple questions to you yeah. directly. Did you put your hands on him? No, I did not. And that's and no, I did not. So no, you didn't I get did physical. You didn't get physical. No, I did not. Who has the baby? Him or you? I had my daughter. I've always had my daughter. Okay. He doesn't. He doesn't even know how to change. Like, like. Wait, 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 he didn't ask you that. He didn't ask you that. He asked you who had the baby. I have my daughter. I've always had my daughter for the four years she's been born. I've always had her. Well, you called in. You said, "What should you do?" So to me, the writing is on the wall. If he don't get you two restraining orders, that you can't be within a hundred feet of this, a uh, hundred feet or hundred yards. Was it? Okay. So what do I do when wait he calls me back and say he want his family back? Oh, I miss my family. And like, what should I do when he? Says I'm about that? to tell you what to do. You're already out. Go get you an apartment and do your thing. That's it. You can't I force. Did that already. But goddamn, you gotta stay out. You can't be out. Then I go back on Thursday. Then he put you out on Tuesday. Okay, Once so you out, stay out. So I need somebody. I'm about to leave you my damn self. That's right. Think, That's what we about to do, goddammit. That's what's about you know to happen. What? Shit. I think that uh, from a woman's no, perspective. Like, honey, 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 honey. Sweetheart. It was just like Sweetheart. Call her. Call her. You got to let us respond, baby. You got to let us respond, okay? So I was saying, I really think since you have a special needs child, that's first and foremost your priority mm -hmm. to make sure that child is taken care of properly. And I know you're doing a great job. I'm not insinuating any of that. But what I am saying is that he's secondary. If he, and, and that's because he threw you out. If he got a restraining order and all that against you, get your life together with your child. I'm sure it's together. Move on with your life because if he keeps getting restraining orders and he's not even considering what you have to go through in raising a child like that. I take care of patients that have cerebral palsy mm -hmm. and things like that. Yep. That takes a lot of love, a lot of time, yes, and a lot of effort yes, on does. your part. Yes, and that's your baby. Yes, so you don't need anyone adding more stress on you that knows that you have that. And he's the father, so he should be wanting mm -hmm. to be helpful and not add insult to injury. Just saying that the stress that you're under. So I say step yes, away and leave him alone. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Raise your child, get certain services. They have the regional center. Go out to the regional center, get some help um, in your city, and they'll actually give you some support. Okay. Yes. Now, and yes, I have a few. I have a. Thing, I have a few more questions. Put him on child support. Okay. So God I, damn. I don't have child support for her or anything, and she's four. But, I've never put him on child support or anything like that. So I'm like really confused now. Like, like, what should I do? Okay. Well, I really like. What you should do. <laughs> <laughs> is when you talking to folk who got a little something to tell you, you should just try to listen a little bit. That's what you yes, should do. Right. Let's just start in listen mode. Ask a question, then listen. Boom. Then listen. Boom. Okay, so Lena, I'm going to ask you a few questions, and then I want you to listen, and then answer. Okay. okay? Number one. 
What did this man bring to your life that uplifted you, that made you a better person? How did he edify you as a person? He gave me my daughter. No, before no. the daughter. God damn it. Take it easy. You, you, had, a, you had a baby in one day? <laughs> no, but he gave me my daughter. Like, I, was, I, didn't, I wasn't thinking about anything else, but when I had my daughter, that was all I could think about. But you said you were together for three years before you had your daughter. So Zoe's asking you what Correct. made you want to be with him before the daughter happened. Um, he, I mean, he was a gentleman. He was nice. He was, you know, no, 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 no. You're was... talking about what he did. I said, mm-hmm. what did he do to uplift you, to mm-hmm. edify you? Being a gentleman is just playing the the courting game, right? The the, mm-hmm. the that's right. just the courting game. So, what did he do to uplift you? How did he make your spirit better? How did he make your mind better? How, what did he do to oh. make you a better person? To aid you in that process? Gave a free weed. He no, he because I don't know because that's not no. He like he doesn't he, not, he doesn't believe like I'm a, like I'm a vegetarian now. I don't eat any meat now. Okay, these are good um, questions. Like these are like I don't eat any meat. I don't you know I n- I've never been to the club or anything like that. So I'm not a club or anything. But you know he just showed me different things like hey you don't have to you know sit in the house or do anything like that. You can you can go out. You go to our club and you can still go out. You can eat. You can do whatever you want to do. I'm a vegetarian now because of him. You, you know, I don't. You got to give your you answers know, like a like you tweeting somebody. It's 140 because, uh, characters or less. No, we, no, I just talk as I was saying. Like it, the main thing is like I can say that I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat meat now because of him. You know, I look at okay. Him in the whole, so that's know, good. Perspective because of him right now. So that's good because I need to find something substantive that he brought to your life. That you can't seem to let go of mm-hmm. at this and moment. And that's what it is. He made, like, he opened me up to what, like, I'm not from Kansas City. I'm from Jersey. So when I came here, like, he was the only thing that I knew. He's like, okay, well, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to be going out and eating out every night and doing all this. Like, you know, go ahead and cook you a meal. Even if you don't, you know what I'm saying? Even if you eat pork, go ahead and know how to cure it. Go ahead and know how to, you know, do... Do the certain things, you know, if you're going to eat it. Do certain things to make sure that, you know, you're eating healthy. Even though, you know what I'm saying, read a book. Like, I, I, I'm a listener, so I was listening. No, to you're not a listener. He was like, put, put it down and, you know, read a book. Just don't listen, like, read it. And, you know, it's just like little simple things like that that make me love him. But um, Okay, now let's I get down to, to the nitty gritty. Jesus Are you Christ. sprung? Mm-hmm. Are you on? Are you I'm sp- not sprung. He's, mm-hmm. It's been seven years. He's the only thing I've known for seven years. Right. So what? No, you I can be it. sprung for seven years, though. I'm, yeah, I'm coming from it. No, experience. Let me, now, hey, if you go on my Facebook page, I'm like the hottest thing cracking. But I'm oh, saying, shit. Like, oh, shit. Well, well, we about yeah, to go on I'm your not, Facebook not, page, and you better be cracking. God, God damn it. Like God damn it. Wow. I know one thing yeah, is going on in your relationship. He can't get no words in. That's probably half the problem right there. The communication is is one-sided. No, it's not. Cause I'm, but I'm Johnny, you gotta excited. remember. You don't talk so much, my earring fell off. <laughs> you don't talk my earring off, and I ain't even got no earring. But, but Johnny, you gotta remember, she's only thirty. She's young herself. Yeah. You can't say only thirty. That's only. A, that's a grown person, nigga. That's ten three times. That's me. <laughs> that's, that's grown. No, now you old enough. But I've only known. I've been. I've only known him for seven years. So that's the only thing I've known for seven years. But Ebony, that's why I think well, he asked, well, "Are you sprung?" Because again, I'm thirty. I'm divorcing my husband, and I can He's openly admit. You. No, I'm very much divorcing I talked him. To him on Wednesday. And um, so, but I can openly admit that I was very much sprung on my husband. And for exa- oh, similar reasons you're saying, like when you get to a community and that's the only person you know and you attach to them, they imprint on you and you're so young in your adolescence, that's all your young mind knows. Right. Listen, and I'm going to say it again. 30 is young. So young. I don't get that. Let me tell you how. Let me just, because I see I have to just Because your in. adolescent brain only been developed for five years. Your prefrontal right. lobe ain't even been developed but five years. That's what I was about to say. But thank you for stealing my thunder. I'm sorry. It's fine. You know how I feel about the prefrontal lobe. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. <laughs> this, this, this girl on the phone is crazy. <laughs> nah, she's young. She's yeah. young. She needs to just figure it out. Like, how, old is your, how old is the guy, your, 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 the, the father of your child? How old is he? He'll be 35 in January. 
He's an Aquarius. So January your main question was, what should you do? Here's the answer. You're already out. Go find your place to stay mm-hmm. for you and your daughter and continue on your life. You can't keep going backwards because mm-hmm. it's never going to work. You can't you can't have justice in the stolen land. God damn it, your, your relationship is all fucked up. It's over. You got to come to realize it's over. Mm-hmm. I know it may be harsh coming from Johnny Mag, but God damn it. <laughs> 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 right. But you know what? You don't want to spend your. And I'm gonna go on your Facebook, and I'm coming to Atlanta. You better be fine too. You know what it is? <laughs> it's, it's Ebony you say what? It's Ebony Lachey. First That's off, Ebony, Lachey. stop giving out your motherfucking social media. You got a right. problem on your hand already. Right. First of all, I'm light skinned. She can get that out to me. <laughs> Did she, she, she out here <laughs> on a light skin side of the game. <laughs> Lee. <laughs> Really out here promoting. Jesus. Right. It's, it, oh you're not even that, fully God. out of this situation. Oh Johnny Mac just going to buy you a Washington apple and start some shit. <laughs> right. She might get a white chocolate. Let me see how fine she is. <laughs> oh, shit. Or you might be drinking up. You might be a PF change. Sure, well, we helping her out. She needs to leave that nigga alone. So maybe Why she ain't got to be a nigga. We ain't calling no bitch. Well, Why gotta be a nigga? He's a man, and I just use that phrase. Yeah, I don't know his name. Oh, that's what's terrible. his name? Yeah, what's right. his name? Yeah. What's his name, sister? I'm sorry. What's your his king's name? name? DeAndre. DeAndre. Oh, you gonna shit. put him out? Wait, like, she even put her oh, government name out there, and then she said his first name. We just fucked all of it up. She said his name like he got prize. I never said mine. His name is DeAndre Phillips. Oh shit, DeAndre Phillips. Okay. Oh shit, Jesus. You press okay. love. Oh, that's not her. Okay, that's not her. Hey, but look, no, that's right. not her. Okay, uh, okay. I, I didn't but, hear his name, so let's not let's not repeat it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, his name is DeAndre Charles, and he worked out you know at what? uh. No, but you know let what? me let me do this though. Yes. Let, let me do He's this like on, on a on a serious note. On a serious note, right? Correct. Like, like for real. You have a daughter. She's going to need you to be focused. Yes. She's going to need you to be locked in, dialed into her needs. And the reality of it is whether he is down with you personally, the relationship part of it, that's that's irrelevant. Okay? That mm-hmm. is irrelevant. She needs you. Mm-hmm. Now, right. if he wants to participate as a father, fine. Allow that. But the relationship is obviously misery-ridden. It's frustrating, mm-hmm. it's disappointing, and right. downright disrespectful based off of the stuff you've already revealed. Mm-hmm. Right. And I can only imagine what you hold him back, right. which you ain't actually <laughs> said. But right. don't tell us. Don't tell us right now. Right. Yeah, but... Yes. Hold it in. But I will I say, I will I say this, like, this is... First off, remember this. Any relationship you're in is about self-improvement. A lot of times, motherfuckers think relationship is about leisure, no. It's about Ooh, kicking Lord. it. It's about enjoying each other. It's no, no. It's it's really about self improvement. And the best way to discover what's wrong with you is to be in an intimate relationship. Hmm. Now it's quick for you to call in and get this man's government, but the 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 the, the mentality that would give this man's government on an international radio platform is a fucked up mentality. International. So you first Listen, have to, yeah, international pimp. Does that come with pancakes? Listen, Answer. Though, I could have, listen, though, I, 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 I've been with this man, like I said, for seven years. My daughter is four. You, you I have that. never not once went down to the state and asked the state nothing from this man. But then, hold on, baby girl. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, honey. You can't validate one bad act. With a good one. It's not a bad You basically saying. Look, look, hey, who, who, wait, hold on. Who are you yelling at, goddammit? That, that's why he gave you the I ain't gonna tolerate this shit. That's, you about to get a, uh, a, a, a Zoe Williams restraining order. Is she also about to do what we talk about all the time? It sounds like she's gonna put him on child support out of like vengeance. And and if you really need it, and that's the only way to get it, okay. But like, it sounds like you're just mad now. No, because I don't. That's I don't need it. Like I just want like you. Don't, I don't do it. Why are you doing it? If you don't need it, your daughter's doing. So why like, you keep bringing it up? Like, well, right. Why you keep bringing it up? Like it's a good deed. Like it's a like it's a Christmas it's present. Not a good deed. What I'm saying <laughs> is, I'm trying to prove to him for four years. Like 
Like, dude, I don't want like I don't want nothing from you. I just want you to be a part of your daughter's life. You want him to be a part of your life too, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. He can be a part of your daughter's see, that's, life. Because right. you I, asked about him when you first got on the phone. You see, you over here lying. But now. you're thinking about him. I think uh-huh. she's just in an, an intense I denial, so she's not gonna absorb what we're telling her because no, she hasn't is, really accepted it yet. That's because yeah. she knows he's bad for her, but she wants him. It's like you know, you know what I'm saying. Well, how like, is he bad for her? I think because just what I think because she should move on with her life. I think the brother did the right thing instead of making him physical. He said, you know what? I'm going to get a restraining order to get you out of here. He's basically well, walking away from the relationship because it's say, a toxic relationship. Right. And I you can tell you. You've been on this phone for three minutes and I'm tired of your ass. Right. You know what? <laughs> right, I can tell you, though. You know I can what? sense. I can sense. We all can. The presence of restraining order in you. <laughs> right. The restraining order right. force is so strong one, with this so one. So why would you get one and then get another one? That doesn't make any sense. No, to make sense, why would you go back? Oh, whoop. Don't so don't like so. It's, so we broke that fault then. No, no, it's you at fault because he couldn't give you a second one if you didn't go back. Right. Listen. Right. Let me think. You better that's leave. Right. That's right. Look you at that. Him alone. Look right. at that. Get your bag. And get the <laughs> hell on. <laughs> I <Right>. don't. <laughs> you, I'm always go ahead, right. Johnny Mac. Go I'm ahead. always right. Go, Johnny. Remember that. I'm go always Johnny. right. Go, go, go. Man. You can't, you can't argue with that song, though. Today. Wow. Thank you for the call, no, baby boo. You're right. We 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 love the drama you brought to us. <laughs> Not <laughs> really. We all do. No, but I'm, I'm going to tell you, though. You got you to gotta break up with drama. Mm-hmm. That's true. You got to. Because I can sense the drama in you. Can you sense it in you? Yep. I, I told you that already. Like, no, I know, I, but I, I can admit to my fault. Well, shit, admit to him. Don't tell me what you told me already. Just say yes. You're right. You don't like, tell, you don't like, like telling people they're right, do you? Get rid of the drama and go with the comedy. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love crazy. y'all. And I know you guys are going to give me the real. That's why I called in. That's right. All right now. Nothing but the fact. That's right. Much love. Well, thank you. Shit. Remember, your mommy's tell you, shut up. All right now. All right. (laughs) All right, baby. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Thank you. Jesus Christ. What in the feast of Sam Hain just (laughs) happened? What in the Peter Brady was that? (laughs) I see why. Now, now you see why. I'm not. I'm not saying you see why this brother. Like I need this girl out of this goddamn house. They got nothing yeah. to do with the baby. It's her. Now she won't admit to that. And and you know it always takes two to tango. Yeah. But a grown up is not afraid to own up. Right. Right. <laughs> Ooh. Somebody better coin it. I need a meme. Uh, a a grown up is not afraid to own up. That's a good one. Meme that somebody. Shit. Yes. I got to own up what is mine. Right. I brought this to the table. Now, if I bring some bullshit to the table, of course, somebody I'm in relationship with is going to have a reaction right. to the bullshit I bring to the table. Exactly. That's the part you own. Mm-hmm. It, it should have never got where this girl and her baby was put outside. It never should have got to that. She should have uh, see the signs on the wall like, you know, I need to get up out of here. First of all, never move in with nobody. You got your own spot, keep your own spot. Because I don't want Tiffany to get mad at me and this thing, I'm the fuck out. <laughs> now, my credit ain't what it should be. That's going to take me a hot six, seven months. <laughs> oh, no. What? <laughs> hey, I'm at a 545, but I'm climbing. You know I'm, getting oh you God, I'm getting there. I'm getting there, goddammit. I'm getting there, goddammit. So I keep paying my shit on time. But this this girl was off the chain right here. Jesus she was Christ. wild. She was wild. But at least she was, well, I was going to say, never she mind. She ain't honest. Don't no, say. I was going to say transparent. I was like, no, it was clear she was holding a whole bunch back. Yeah. So never mind. Wow. I back. mean, I didn't even go down to the people to get no child support. Bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> if you're just tuning in to the voice of reason, I have a question for you. True or false? Overly wanting what you don't have ultimately creates misery. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Today's topic, misery yeah. addicts, the straight up truth about why you are miserable in your relationship. What is causing the unhappiness in your household, in your heart? Is it someone else's fault? Do you refuse to let go of the mantle of righthood? Are you a consistent victim in all of the bullshit you experience in your life? Call us right now. The number to dial is 323-230-4610. We've got a caller on the line. 
I'm it, in here with Johnny Mac. I'm in here with Tiff Talks. I'm in here with my girl Mimi. It's gonna Mimi. be her boyfriend. That's his call. He's gonna be like, this motherfucker <laughs> lying. No, just lying. He wrote, no, he wrote in the chat room. He was like, she's stalking me on the radio. She around the corner right now. <laughs> this Jesus. bitch cut my sandwich with a machete. This bitch yeah. tried to kill me. She cut my sandwich <laughs> with a machete. Oh, hilarious, <laughs> hilarious. Caller, you're on the line. What's your name and where you calling from? Speak on it. That's funny. Hello. Hell is low. Welcome. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, how, how you doing, Zoe? Everybody, Johnny Mac. What's up, man? I'm doing what? fantastic. What? Hey, what's, what's up? up? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. What's this is my first time calling. I'm sorry if I sound a little nervous. Um, on your phone? Well, originally, well, well, call into the show. Okay. <laughs> I've been listening it's to my first time, time using a phone. <laughs> 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 I'm saying. It's my first time on the phone, you know. I got a walkie talkie. I don't use that often. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, y'all are hilarious. Y'all are hilarious. Oh. Uh, well, originally, I was calling in about the first question that you asked, if I'm not mistaken, was if you have relationship harmony, can y'all get along better if someone takes responsibility? Right. But I heard you just say and ask another question about can, is, can you cause problems if it's something that you desire, something that you want or something like that? Right. Both of them pertain to me because mm. I'm in a situation that, I mean, literally just a few days old. Um, basically, me and my I'm gonna call my fiance. I'm going to say you and your fiance been together for eight years. Been fiance, for eight fiance, years. Yes. Okay, yes. we've been for eight years. That's my wait a minute. Hold on. How, she was your how, fiance for eight years. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Well, we've been together for eight years. How, how long, long has she been? Yeah, go ahead, Zoe. I'm shit. It's only my show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe got great taglines. So, and, <laughs> and so uh, when I first met her, she had a daughter that's two. That she's ten now. So I, I feel very invested in this. I That's your daughter now, her, nigga. Right. Daughter. I would say, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You, you absolutely. said that kind of fucked up. Nigga, is it yeah, your daughter yeah. or not? Because, you know what? Yeah, because, it was her well, he puppy. was saying he's very invested in her before her. we cut him off. Yeah. No, because she do know who her dad is, you know what I mean? And I know it's important for her to know her father, but right. I, I do love her, like, you know... That's my baby, you know what I mean? Right. All right, That's cool. why I always kind of hesitate when it comes to that because, you know. But basically what's going on is this. And y'all definitely want your opinion on this. Um, about four years ago, mm. um, me and her was going through a little hard time. Mm -hmm. And what happened was I found out the hardest way and the worst way a man can imagine that she stepped out on me. Mm. And um, when I found out about it, when I mean it broke me, I mean it broke me. I'm talking about for like you know, three days straight. I didn't eat, couldn't sleep. You know what I mean? And all, I just had all crazy thoughts. Did you cry? I, I, I was. I did. So. I did. Because this was a woman like I never Tyrese. thought she would be capable of. She used to always communicate with me, was honest with me. Apparently not. Me, you know, <laughs> Johnny, let him yeah. talk, yeah. man. Jesus. No, no, it's cool. He's it's trying cool. to get to the point. He's working on it. I'm teasing it. <laughs> but yeah, so, <laughs> so, you know, when I, when I found out about it, you know, we tried to work it out. But because of that incident happening, she wound up opening up to me about other things. And I found out this wasn't the first time. You know what I mean? And so ever since then, yeah. So ever since then, I can't, I don't, I never looked at her the same. I'm like, the streets got you now. Like, you wasn't mine. You probably never was mine. Mm. So because mm. of that incident, I wound up meeting a young lady. Mm -mm. And me and her hooked up. Okay. Now, the problem is this. The guy that she did whatever she did with, they may only talk once or twice over the internet, and that's as far as it goes. Me, on, on the other hand, I still talk to my friends. We have not had any other sexual contact since the few times we did do something. However, we always still stay close. Mm. Even with her having boyfriends, I've went to visit her at her house a few times. We mm. went out for drinks once or twice. Mm. You know, I talked to her, yeah, flirted with her other girlfriends and everything. Oh, God the damn. Time, <laughs> the whole time she was aware that I had a girlfriend. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so it kind of blew up in my face when my girl found the video of us having sex. You had a video? Yeah, and yeah, I had a video. <laughs> oh, your I'm parents sorry. Hilton? I'm sorry. Uh, but no, no, but, 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 but protect yourself. So when she found the video, her <laughs> girl had some words. And so when she had some words, the girl said this to my girl. She said, next time you kiss him, tell me how my pussy tastes. Oh, oh. Jesus. This is so much yeah, right so <laughs> Was y'all in church when this happened? Whoa. Jesus. Yeah, but no, this, this happened uh, three years ago. This happened okay. three years ago. Okay. Now, the problem is this. Since then, any girl I ever talk to, and I mean not talk to on a, like, have sex with, but just even on a conversation, my girl don't trip on. If she found a number of my phone belonging to a chick, she'll, she won't even get hyped. But that girl in particular, 
no. That's a no. I can't, nothing with her, no communication. She found out recently that I've been talking to her because this hating ass chick blew up my spot. For whatever reason, no, I don't know. So now, like, we're not talking. I mean, she walking past, giving me the eye. I make a breakfast and dinner. She don't want to eat it. She throws the food back at me. She Now she leaving out for extended hours, leaving me in the house with the baby. And I'm just really like, I'm wondering, and I say both of those questions pertain to me because of this. She doesn't realize that the reason why I even talked to this girl, I never even thought of entertaining another woman until she did what she did. Right. Because I'm, it made me realize that we didn't handle fidelity in our relationship and why I'm going to commit my body and commit my everything to you when you, you want to be committed to the streets. All right, like, so look, I mean, point, so so let me let me interject, bro, because we can't have the whole story. You goddamn right. Okay, my bad. So, okay, but I'm sorry. so I met her in '75, and she <laughs> right <laughs> by '86 <laughs> we was together and had a baby. <laughs> we had four children by '86 and were engaged <laughs> since '87. Oh, <laughs> right? Come on now, damn. Okay. Okay, so let's sorry. just break it down. Uh-huh. Let me let me just. This is this is why I always ask these tough questions. And here's here's one right now. Okay. Do you really believe this woman loved you? <sighs> Hysterical. I don't think so. She no. probably once did. Let me. And I don't think I don't think she loved you, brother. And 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 just based off of because this listen, women don't step out on meaning. But she didn't step out to like four years later. No, here 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 hear my point. Women men. Well, we are moved by the flesh. By the ass. Women are moved by ideas that have meaning. I will agree with Zoe. Yes. When a woman yeah. cheats on the man she cares about, she is cheating on what she believes to be better than that nigga. Yeah. Damn. Right. She typically hmm. does not just fuck around with something less than what she already has. That's True. not incentive enough to put the shit on the line. For right. a woman. Speaking truth. This oh, nigga's a truth. genius. This nigga's a okay. Hiya, ba, ba, ba. This is why I come back and I ask you, do you think she really loved you? Because again, women don't mind dating a package of resources. Right, right. A woman will fuck with a package of resources. Nigga, if you're a Swiss Army knife in relationship, you got a good job, you got a good education, you consistent, you you going you you're responsible, you're reliable. She don't have to be in love with you, my nigga. You just name all the things I'm not. <laughs> right. You, 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 I'm doomed. You, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You see, she she don't she don't have to be in love with you. Now, this woman, you just broke down a few things that just indicated to me that she not really fucking with you like that. Right. She's fucking with what you can do for her. See, a lot of times men need to understand. You need to be able to differentiate. Does she fuck with you? <laughs> or is she fucking with what you can do? Mm. It's two different things. Right. A mm. woman, she she will present, my nigga, like she fucking with you. Mm-hmm. But she's really fucking with what you can do. And the moment you stop doing what she's fucking with, you lose value. Mm. Right. God damn, Zo. A woman will step out as soon as you stop doing. Now we had the brother he on make the this show. nigga start crying. This nigga breathing hard. And yeah, he breathing no. hard. I thought you were talking to Dark <laughs> Vader. <laughs> this nigga talking to Dark. I think he's scared because I think he's hiding to make this phone call. I like, felt her. She like, was alive. <laughs> Where's Padme? Use the force. <laughs> <laughs> the force. Well, Zoe, no, can I ask you a but, question? But let me let me just wrap up this okay, thought okay. right here. Okay, Let me just okay. wrap up this whole because again, when you ask, uh, I, we had to call her last uh, Monday when uh, this past Monday. He said, M- "Women are human beings, and men are human doings." Mm. Do you get it? Uh, no, I don't. So, mm-hmm. so a man gotta do shit. Truth, yeah, right. When you put, if you yeah. line up ten women and ask them, what speaks louder? Actions or words, 99.999% of all women are going to say actions because a nigga got to be doing. <laughs> right. So true. But, but a woman got to be doing. Action speaks louder than the words for the woman, too. Right. Some mm. women, some banal, 
and and the same applies to men. But in general, we always speak in generalities here, yes. never in absolutes. Correct. But Darwin again, no absolutes. just listening to what this man broke down about his woman. You a good father. You are a reliable nigga. And all that. Well, fuck it. I First of all, it wasn't his woman. You get it? Right. <laughs> That's what you said, though. You stepped right out on your ass. That's what you said. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something. Niggas who are locked into the authenticity of who they are tend to break women down emotionally and spiritually. You goddamn right. Because women be like, That's a real motherfucker. You goddamn right. I can't control this nigga. I can't tell him what to do. I can't fit him in a box. And I love that thing. (laughs) Whatever that thing is, it could be his mind, it could be his spirit, it could be his presence. Or penis. Penis, all, and don't have all of that don't together. Don't have that and oh have a penis. God. Lord Jesus. Oh, it's boy. <laughs> it do you get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? It ain't shit you can do. A woman can't do nothing about that. You're goddamn right. Nothing. But <sighs> if you ain't got that, a woman will say, well, what does he have? Mm-hmm. And this is, listen, Let Us See got a new song out called Add To Me. <laughs> yeah. The record is called Add to Me. Yeah. I, can the, I can play the drums for What the fuck are you bringing to me? This is the mindset of a woman. True. What are you doing for me? What are you bringing to me? A man got to be like a conveyor belt. Shit got to be coming in if you ain't authentic. Truth. You in the dick, what I'm saying, nigga? Who, this nigga? Who you talking no to? Doubt, no doubt. This nigga is transcribing what I said. <laughs> Listen to this bitch. <laughs> this is why we ain't gonna make it, bitch. Listen. Right. Hey, but, man, good luck on your relationship. I don't know what to say to you, but uh, it's, it sounds like it's kind of fucked up. And um, I hope you get out of the bad, toxic relationship. And uh, you seem like a pretty cool dude, but. Thank you, know, you, you, you know, I didn't, I didn't mean none of that. But anyway, uh, I'm but trying I, to get you I, I will say this, though. <laughs> I will say this. Get a copy of the relationship dismount. Yes, please do that. No yes. doubt. Get two no copies. Doubt. One for you from one for her. Exactly. Right. Right. Exactly. And Truth. if there's something to be salvaged, try to salvage. Exactly. Yes. Uh, if Mr. there's Mr. not... I just ask you... Because oh. the motherfucker done cheated... On, I'm going to tell you right now, motherfucker cheated on me twice. I'm out. Right. Yeah, well, but he, but but he, but he, he was also revenge to, cheated. But he was and wrong now for he's, that. He's, he's, he's like... Surprised that she has jealousy issues. You can't now render he evil for evil. Cheated. You can't do that. That's not right. That's the punchline. Like, of course she's gonna be jealous. You mad at her and you can't look at her the same because she been in the streets and now you been in the streets. Which one looked the best? The one you cheated on with or the one that's at your crib? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the one to stay with. Which one is the finest? <laughs> oh, you asking me? Oh man. Yeah, I'm talking uh, to you. That's I mean, they, they both they both nice, but I, you which, know the girl I, I crept with, like she bad. Like, okay, there it is, uh, right there. Yeah, there you, you go. Know, you messed girls, up. They do that little hate and stuff. Oh, she ain't all that cute. Yo, yes, she is. Hey, nigga, she go over there with her. She bad. <laughs> go over there with the bad. <laughs> Right. You don't know how they had know. this for eight what? years. Go on over to that new thing. Choose and re-choose. No, can, I, can, I, can I just ask you a quick question? Quick question. Just sure. real fast. Sure. Because I listen to, what, listen to what you said, and what you're saying is true on a lot of levels. But here's my one thing that I understand. If it's that like that, and if I'm not supplying something that she needs, then why don't you just let me do what I need to do? Why now, don't you do what you need to do? Time ago. Don't blame it on her. You know I mean, bring me in a, and then no, Johnny Mac is. To, when I wanted to leave, when I wanted to leave, she would stop me. If she found out I'm talking to girls, she could let me go ahead and do that. Woman can't stop you. She can't stop you. Power. You stopped yourself, nigga. Exactly. She just wants power. My ex did the same thing. He screamed on the radio. He don't want me, but he did everything he could do to control everything about I me when he, he had. He didn't want you. Is he you know back under the bus? Mm. Jesus. No, but I'm just saying, like we done ran it's over this power. nigga eight times. <laughs> it's, I, no, I believe I'm, you. I'm, it's just an example of it's a power thing. It doesn't necessarily mean she wants you. She just wants to control mm. you. She want to make sure wow. nobody else can have you. Exactly. Some people wow. can't see you with somebody else, but they can do their thing. Mm. So they but they ain't going to never see you. me with somebody else. My man, just do your thing. You done already got a bad one. Just step on out and, 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 and enjoy the bad girl you got. Yeah. And be a good dad. <laughs> and be a good father. <laughs> now be absent. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, no, don't no, listen. Be a good dad. I appreciate the last and the inf- information. Thank y'all so much, man. Thank All right, brother. You. Thank oh, you, Jesus. Oh my goodness. My wisdom is mixed into this spaghetti. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's so messed up. Vehicular hey, linguine. Hey, so that was heavy. So uh, you, you made me rev out. Uh, take up. Like, maybe I ain't doing some shit right. That nigga was was maybe. dropping knowledge. <laughs> what? I've gotten better. Girl, let me tell you something. I, I done had a whole bunch of them leave me. 
I'm an expert in leaving. I'm uh. gone before they know I'm gone. Uh. I'm gone before you know I'm gone. <laughs> Goodness. Man, this is crazy. That dude was, uh, he was it's hurt. A lo- it's well, there's a- people hurting out here. They calling in. Yeah, it's a lot of hurt people. Man. Hurt locker. Caller. You're on the line. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, put it on the speakers. Hey, Mike L from Chicago. Mike L from Chicago. Go ahead. Man, great topic. It's a lot of people out here, man, that they just don't love themselves, man, and they try to get that love from other people. I be seeing that a lot. It's, it's crazy. It's just like, you don't like yourself, so you go out there, you try to get this other person to identify them flaws for you, you know. Yeah, show me this, what's wrong with myself, but then you realize, ain't nothing gonna work with that, man. You gotta love yourself. That's all you can do. Shit, my man, you married or whatever? Uh-uh, nah. What? He said, nah. No. no, not at all. Why not? Because, okay. man. <laughs> Johnny, get out of this man's life. <laughs> right. He just called the comment, okay? <laughs> Shit. Right. Support the show. <laughs> Johnny, hey, man. Why are you by yourself, nigga? What's wrong with you? Right. <laughs> Where your broad at? This nigga sleeping in a twin bed. I almost about to share my bed. <laughs> Thanks for the call, bro. <laughs> share my twin <laughs> Nah, let me just say this, man. And I, I I talk to you guys about this a lot. If you do not come to the relationship already happy, right? Chances are the right. relationship is not gonna make you happy. Right, right. It's just not. If you if you got like, I'll be able to hide this bullshit in this relationship mentality. Right. They ain't oh, gonna man. never find out about this shit about me. Like if you got them kind of. Ideas? Ask me. <laughs> no, no, Johnny, man. Right. Don't nobody know I live in. I, I blindfold bitches. Like you ain't. Oh, jeez. <sighs> you going through the back caves to get up in here, bitch. You know. <laughs> I got situations. You don't know me like that. I be hearing the situations, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> don't judge me <laughs> but some people out there they, they deep you know I, 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 my man uh, the other dude that dude was deep uh, that, he got a lot of situations <laughs> I want to hear from the relationship settlers wow. are you on a relationship plantation where you settled call what? us 323 230 4610 I want to hear Mm-mm. like the shit you don't want to tell your partner can I can a can a man ever win in a relationship? Am I ever gonna win? It, it depends seems, on what you call winning. Right. It seems like it's always like I'm, I'm listening to what you said. The guy got to do this. He got to bring this. He got to give that. He got to do this. Ooh, I, I, and then this never stops. Because Zoe said like if if I'm I'm, I'm just hypothetical speaking. If I'm paying your fucking no I can't say rent. If I'm paying your uh, no I can't say that either. If I'm paying your light bill. Okay. That's <laughs> About eight dollars. Okay. If I got your Direct TV popping, now that's two. That's two ninety nine right is there. High, right. That's two ninety nine because she might want to get the NFL package. You got to break that down. Ooh, I would too if you was paying for it. Ooh. I'm gonna be. I'm, hey, I'm gonna come to every game dressed like a Raider, and I'm gonna watch the game with you. But what, what if I stop? What if I just? Can I ever stop? That's all I'm saying. Can I ever stop doing? If I stop doing, that means you gonna bounce. It, it, I think it depends. Like, you can stop doing, depending on the, the relationship, where you're at in the relationship. But if it's fresh and you stop doing something a girl had expected, yeah, she going to dip. But now, yeah. if you're, like, in a marriage and that's someone who really rolls with you, yeah, you can you can stop doing something because they're in there. But that's when you find out if they're a ride or die or not. Right. Exactly. Because it seemed like, seem like the man ain't going to ever win. It's always always giving, giving, giving. And I make one mistake and you out? Yeah. For a lot of people, yeah, that's how it works. Mm-hmm. You've changed. That's fucked up. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. Well, usually it's if you change in the way she didn't <laughs> like or expect right. or anticipate. Now, if you change it in a good way, you've been got a new job and got a raise and got that's a new different. house. She gonna see, be like, this is Yay. why. This is why I always tell women, I'm not dating your ideas. I'm dating you. Right, right. right. So don't tell me. I'm what not to dating do. your expectations. I don't give a fuck what you expect of me. Right, Amen. Amen. I'm gonna be unpredictable. Right. And not the album. I don't believe in shit you believe in. And and this is important. You know why? Let me tell you why this is important. Why? Because if this is my truth, because mm-hmm. a lot of men don't live their truth. No, they don't. The reason why we don't live our truth is because it's easier to get pussy when we lie. Absolutely. Right. See, because a lot of women 
Is there any other way to get pussy besides why? <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Yes. A lot There's of other women. Ways to get it, it's not. Yes, there because is. Because you got to look at the dynamic. Some bitches just want to fuck niggas. A lot of women. <laughs> oh, you sound like you was at a prison release party. Right? <laughs> no, no, shit. I'm just keeping it real. That's just Sometimes real. Sometimes we just want to deal. Some okay. Bras, <laughs> some Jesus bras will see a dude and they'll want to do it to the dude. We had a girl here one day. She said she wanted to do it to everybody in the studio. She had said he got a tattoo and that look good. I'm like, damn. I'm like, damn, bitch. I don't I don't think like that. Call it back. But they have different. I'm not that simple. But some bras is simple like that. They like. Sigmund Freud told us to simplify our lives I'm that simple but see this is what you I'm know, trying this is this is the point that I'm trying yeah. to get to god damn genius yes. women's Women. ideas <laughs> interlock with men's behavior okay yes. yeah women typically have outlandish expectations which translates into fantasies which translates into lies this is why they're lies because they're not real a fantasy is a fucking mirage. It's right. not the truth. Right. So men are rewarded for lying. Mm. We're rewarded for conforming to your fantasy. Right. Oh, I got to behave this way. I got to act this way. I got to perform this way. Good. But if that's I'm, true, who's lying? Me or her? Well, you're lying with your behavior and she's lying with, with her, her desires. With her fantasies. Right. So yes. she started to lie. <laughs> I always say women have power in relationship if a woman just said fuck the social norms right i know what you are dude and i know what i am and this is what i require and i'm not demanding it of you you're gonna fall in line because this is how i get down this is my truth right a lot of times sisters inherit relationship beliefs and ideas and concepts from old, broken, battered mamas. It's true. Oh, wow. You're going to attack the mamas? Man. My mama was pure. Well, that's how kids learn in general is from their parents. <laughs> if your mama broken, you will be a little broken. That's not true. Shit. That is true. I mean, literally your brain. That's how children learn. That's Mere how neurons. Works. That's but, how they learn. Like, but now we're not children. We're grown now. Because <laughs> that the, didn't the, change. Well, my mother taught me. I went the opposite. So. It doesn't she, guarantee you're going to be broken. I can't put it on my mom. Yeah, same thing it's you. Me. You're grown now. My mom is broken, but I'm not broken. I'm, no, yeah, I'm yeah. much more ahead of the game than her. I'm like the mother. And she's like the child. But if you got to say you're ahead of the game, you're really not. Oh, I am. When it no comes one to has change. to. You don't okay, have to, no, no, you don't no, have to announce I, 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 how great I announced, I'm doing. No, I announced that because she, what she just said. She said most mothers, when they're bad, that makes the child. I'm saying I, I was raised from piddle to post. So I know my story like you know your story. My story has been a bad one as far as where I was mm-hmm. raised. I, I had like my own story. I would like for some of these stories yeah. to be complete. Let's listen to Mimi now. Go ahead, Mimi. So I've been through a lot of things in my life. Therefore, I wasn't raised by my mom. And if someone was to look from the outside in, they would think I wouldn't probably make it because the odds were against me. But even though the odds were against me, I made it. So I'm just saying all that to say you could grow up from a bad foundation, even though that's not practical because people say bad foundation creates bad product. But I came from a bad foundation, but I was broken up, put into a pot, replanted, and I'm popping. <laughs> well, yeah. Because yeah. you, know, you know what I mean? God learned. is good. Cool. But also, like, when I say parent, I really just mean, like, primary care providers. No, I agree. Yeah, because no, that's no. how kids learn. So, no, like, no, whoever agree. you're around most of the time. No, no, no. Yeah. I agree with you. I wasn't yeah. saying that. I was just yeah. speaking from my perspective exactly. only because everyone has, you know what I mean? Everyone exactly. doesn't come from the same foundation. Right. Some people have good parents and they're good kids. Some people have good parents and they bad kids Amen. or vice versa, <laughs> you know? Are you a good parent? Um... I have I have wonderful parents, but my mom is out actually very damaged as well. So as much as she's a wonderful mother, um, she's also a very damaged woman. So yeah, but I grew up knowing that and being very aware of where my mom's faults are and not wanting to project them into my, my mother life. didn't have no faults. So. She was a saint. <laughs> That's right. No, really? Johnny Mac. That's is, right. I didn't get to the mothers now. We were talking about the bad relationships. <laughs> uh, but we're back now. No, but we what were the last time you've been in a relationship, Zoe? You, you're giving all this goddamn advice. Ooh. I love it, Johnny. Ooh. Shit. Ooh. I'm always in relationship. <laughs> mm-hmm. I always got somebody around. I'm always relating. <laughs> <laughs> it's a relationship. That was a real alley oop kind of answer. No, right I there. love yeah, it, man. I was, I was just being honest. No, he know? that's Johnny. We we this is what we do. Yeah. Now. No, your answer. I wasn't I wasn't going at Johnny. <laughs> oh, my answer is clear. I'm always in relationship. I am. I'm always relating with somebody. 
Zoe's a nice guy. I've, I've never seen Zoe do anything bad. Well, except fight every spirits. But I've never oh, seen shit. Zoe. You know what? I'm, that wasn't <laughs> bad, though. That was just uh, was something that occurred. No, that was bad. You know what's so bad about that? Zoe had just lectured me three weeks earlier about my conduct. I did. <laughs> well, he like didn't, but the thing is, he, he didn't called me up and chastised me. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I didn't do that. You got <laughs> now you're lying. God damn. Okay. Let me uh, put the two on the ten there, player. <laughs> let's move along. <laughs> no, but uh, you know, I, I, I I'm relating to some young lady. I mean, oh, you know, she's sure. cool. She's she's cool. But it's hard. It's, what, what, let me just say, what it's is she hard. Doing? It's hard. For women to be with me. I believe that. I'm right. just going to tell you right off tops. It's hard. Because mm-hmm. uh, I don't like dumb shit. Mm. You, you don't know. fit in no boxes. I don't, right. I'm not going to be in a box. I don't like. This is a Jordan box. Right. No, I don't like none of that shit. I don't like, mm-hmm. uh, you know, you know, holidays and just have no expectation of me being an ideal anything. Right. And well, well, what is she supposed to have expectations too? Just, just take you as a blank page. Exactly. Take him as he is. That's fucked up. Exactly. That's fucked up. And and what I found is because I had a problem back in the day, conforming, just to keep the peace. Mm-hmm. And and let me, I just got off the phone with Cool Modi a little bit ago. The wild, wild Modi West. always got jewels. Mm-hmm. Yes, he does. <laughs> that motherfucker Modi told me when he found out that I was conforming. Because I was conforming. You know, he said, nigga. That's how he started off? That's nigga. how, nigga, shit. <laughs> nigga, damn. You know, <laughs> fuck, nigga. <laughs> no, but he was talking about, he said, nigga, when you conform, you think you're getting peace. He said, but what you're really getting is quiet. Right. And he said, there's a difference between peace and quiet. Yes. He said, just because somebody is quiet don't mean that there's peace. Right. Mm-hmm. He said, nigga, peace is stillness. Quiet is just shit you can't hear. Yes. You don't hear it coming. Mm-hmm. You see, that don't mean they ain't coming just because it's quiet. And he was like, look, man, avoidance is quiet. Mm-hmm. You Amen. avoiding shit. Right. And he said, avoidance is still building it's still building because you can only avoid for so long. Right. Mm-hmm. That's not true. That's nigga. Tolerance. I, I promise you. I've been avoiding child support for 20 years. Okay, they're going to find you. <laughs> and oh, when Lord. they do, my nigga. Lord, when they do. They're going to come to get this $37. All they and, and the Bitcoins. You know nigga, they're going to get all that oh, shit. They got, yeah, they got my brother's dad's. Like, they was grown and they took it when they sold the house. They took no all his to portion. I was like, my mom, they didn't give it to my mom either. You know, they just take it back to the state. So they took like it was like seventy four thousand dollars. I'm moving. Okay. It didn't I'm go moving. to my mama. It just went back to the state. They are gonna find you. Though. They a lot of money. Back to the wow. topic. Hey man, this this is a tough topic. I don't know how we're gonna win because everything I'm hearing is is like prepare myself to lose in this relationship. It ain't prepare yourself <laughs> to lose, Johnny. Right. My daddy told me never fall in love. Well, that's Why? unfortunate. He said anything you fall into has gotta hurt. You don't believe me? Fall into this table. <laughs> Daddy was wise. <laughs> True. He was wise. Because at the end of the day, you, you how long you, you was with your husband? Uh, we were married for three years, but we were together for 10. And then when it's over, didn't it hurt? Oh, yeah. But it also hurt while we was in it sometimes. So. You got to learn how to bob and weave. You got to take all those punches. Oh, boy, was love, I bob and weave. Love believe hurts. Me. Trust That's the bottom believe. line. Love hurts. Look yeah. at my man. He was with this girl eight years and took the daughter as his own. And she went out and slept with somebody on several occasions. It hurt him. I would have bounced like bad checks in that situation. Right. That, that nigga was lying. He was doing something wrong. Well, he said he revenge cheated multiple times. No, he probably cheated. No, he probably cheated originally, and that's why she cheated. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. You, you got to take the man for his word. That's what he said. Okay, man. we're going to take his word. There's something he was not doing. Because a right. woman just ain't going to go out and just start that's sleeping with other well, That's true. There's something you got to do. All right, caller. Thank you for calling. Can you tell us your name and where you're calling from? Caller. Hello? Boost Mobile, yeah. wake up. What's yeah. your name and where you're calling from? <laughs> yeah, um, this is Lee from uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. And I just had uh, a two-part question. All right. Uh, Nigga, we only can... Okay, I love it. 
My bad. Go ahead. So no, I'm just saying we only can afford one. <laughs> Ask your question. All right. All right. Well, all right, nigga. What I'm going to do is I'm going to combine the second one into the tail end of the first one just so she's going to put me on the spot like that, dog. All right. Um, the question is, all right, is it just me or the more a woman spends her own money and invests non-pussy things into the relationship, the more she is at risk of losing her power in that relationship? Heavy one. Okay. Yeah. All right, so paraphrase the question. That was a tough one right there. Tiffany. Basically, he uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're saying the more that a woman invests monetarily into the relationship, non-sexual things, the less power she has or the more power she gives up in the relationship. Is that right? Uh, Yeah, but what I'm saying is like, well, not just money, but just anything besides pussy. Because, of course, all, all women bring pussy to the relationship by default. Right? So... Just anything besides pussy, like money, or just anything else besides that, anything that's of value. All right, so here we go. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, we're gonna answer your. We're gonna answer your question off the line. We're gonna answer okay. your question off the line. Thank you very much for the question. Okay, all right. I appreciate that. Bring right. Arlene back, man, because she the only nine thought y'all got peace. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Called you a thought. Hold on. What was that about? How do we become thoughts? Hold on, pimp. We don't appreciate that. (laughs) Hey, man, Nick. That man can be honest. Well, no, he just ran. He could have said the shit like a man and stayed on the ride. He did and dealt with. I love the way he spoke. First of all, (laughs) Mimi ain't no thought. I'm not no thought, boo. And no, I feel it's interesting. And even if I was, I wouldn't care. But (laughs) his comment is interesting because even if you call his thoughts, you apparently. Still respect and want the joking. opinion of us thoughts. That's the confusing part. He, so he was just joking. That's just stupid to me. <laughs> Johnny Mac. He was <laughs> just he was stupid. Just he was just playing. No, yeah. I'm well, not offended by it at all because well, I well, do me. Right. Well, <laughs> I'm not offended by it. I just think it's very funny. And so I laugh at that. <laughs> and so, you know what I mean? Get to the right. question. He asked. Yeah, the what woman, was his question? Yeah, get to his question. Tiffany. So, yeah. The question was if a woman, basically anything that a woman brings to the relationship besides sex does she lose power in the relationship or does she feel like she loses power in the relationship? And from my, it's weirdly enough, I don't, I don't feel like a woman talk about this a lot enough for me to speak like in a, in a, in a huge generality. So I'll say for me and like the women that I associate with, yeah, to a point, you know, when we talk about like starting from the bottom, now we're here, like how much do you really, how much do you really pour into a man? Cause again, we talk about does the person you're with bring resources and do you have resources and as a woman but if she, i'm bringing money and sharing my resources at some point like some women again i and i don't feel like a lot of women talk about it all the time but um you do feel like you you're losing a little power mimi um i have a friend that's actually in that situation right now she's dating a guy and he lost everything she let him move in with her mm. and she's been helping him but she's caught him on the phone with the other girls meeting mm. him later so when you, when situations are coming about, in my opinion, it's just monetary. It could possibly be just straight usury. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but in this situation, I, I think he cares about her. But he's came there because he fell on his face. She can help him, and she's caught him several times having mm. talks with people. And then she wants him so much, she doesn't just get rid of him. She calls me and various people cry. But still goes back to it because some people like to feel like they're helping other people. They're all different mm-hmm. types of people. Even though they feel used, they still feel needed. Like she's thinking, where else am I going to go? Is you your know friend I mean? fat? Is she fat? <laughs> yeah. There it is right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. There it yeah. is right yeah. there. Yeah. But you know what, though? I mean, that's part of it, obviously. But I'm going to say this, though. <laughs> she, she She's beautiful. Apparently so, not. No, 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 no. She's beautiful. You can be big and beautiful. No, nah, you can't. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Yes, you can. No, you so can't. she's beautiful. Jill Scott. She's beautiful and thick and big. Jill Scott and- has talent. That's why she getting all the action she oh, getting. Oh, Johnny uh, Mac. Johnny she worked Mac. at, she was the cook at In-N-Out. It wouldn't been going down like that. Oh, Jesus. It's true. (laughs) But I think if a man's not being intimate with you and you're just giving out money, for example, Mm. I think that if he's not interested in the intimacy, because men are normally, if they're into you, they want to hit it. Like when you're into someone emotionally or intimately, you could just think of that person. Like, I want to hit it. Your thing might get hard. Shoot. Not if she fat. But, okay. 
I get that. But I'm just saying, in general, when you care about somebody, and he's been hitting it. This ain't the first time. You know what I mean? He, he hit it enough to get into our house because he was uh, down and out. He was destitute. He needed some place to stay. And he knew that the big girl was going to let him stay there. He just did just enough to get in there. All right. Well, so uh, y'all don't like my answer. That's true. Let me let me give the question. The question was, say it again. The question was, is if a woman gives anything else besides just sex into the relationship, does she give up power? I don't know. It, it, she, potentially, she's giving up power. Right. Potentially. I think, I think potentially she is too. But potentially she could gain power. Right, right. And I'll tell you why. Okay. <laughs> this society has taught women how to become relationship brokers. brokers. Right. Everything they do is an investment. Mm -hmm. This is why this statement, don't waste my time, <laughs> is a fucking big deal to women. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? Because you hear it all the time. Like, don't waste my time. Don't, my time is valuable. You know, you get that a lot. No, it's not. It's not valuable. So I'm just going to say, when you're investing in someone for the payout, you're really more invested in the payout than you are in the person. Mm -hmm. What is the payout? Get married? Whatever the payout is. It could be mm -hmm. marriage. It could be it could be whatever. Upgrade. It could be kids, upgrading right. your life, whatever it is. And that's to me, that's the biggest problem of all. Is this fucking rat race? trying to get something trying to be more trying to have more trying to to me that's greed mm. you know to me but ain't that what i'm supposed to do try to get more and be more and be better i'm no. supposed to get all i can from you no if it's gonna make me better no <laughs> what am i supposed to do take the lease no no listen to what i'm saying johnny acquisition don't make you better right understanding no. does it, it doesn't mean material things i mean it could have been like like i said i, I date girls that's Smarter than me, so I can learn from them. I oh, think people that's uh, whatever I'm lacking, I want them to have so that I can become a better person. That's why I go out with people. I love the way you talk. Yeah, like you want to give me some. Give me a shot of that. That's what it's I love when he says <laughs> that. You know why? Because every other guy that comes on the show says the opposite. So I just Them love the real. Lying. I love the real. And have down women for saying the exact thing Johnny Mac just said. Exactly. Do, that exactly. women do. What'd so I appreciate they down yeah. the women. Like when we say that. down syndrome. When you women. say I'm like, what? When we say that, you know, we want to date someone that can add, whether it's education, whether it's wisdom, whether whatever it is, we say you the same thing. You don't get downed for that. We have gotten... We have gotten massacred on this show for yes. women first saying off, that. Yes, we have. First off, yes, we have. first off, first off, first off, let's just be honest. Get, get I mean, you protect us, but they get be coming. You though. protect they us, but they come for us. Wait, <laughs> let's be honest. But I'll be honest. waiting for them to come. Let's <laughs> be honest. Run up and I'll put up. <laughs> no <laughs> man has attacked you for wanting to gain knowledge from a man on this show. And if he did, he's a piece of shit. N they, they have. It has always been about money, but it, resources. Oh, but I no, yeah, no, not after all no, that, no, 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 no. When we normally break down the, the the breakdown of the man we want, we don't just say money and resources because I had a bunch of people made have money. I don't give a damn about your money. How do you make me feel? I'm more on the feeling part of the game. Like, right. how do, you know what I mean? I want to know. When, do you stimulate me when I'm with you? You nope, know what I'm saying? And I don't, I don't mean. You, <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean sexually. I just mean you know someone that can get your mind without yeah. touching your touching you with you know you want more from this person. So more, mainly when we say those types of things, there's been different people mm -hmm. to the online or whatever that's talk shit. Right, but again, if you listen to my questions, the questions that I posed to the people who called in that had issues, mm -hmm. one of the central questions was. How does this person edify you? Mm -hmm. How does this person uplift you? How does this person help make you a better person? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, for most people, we be fucked up because we looking for somebody to give us something. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you what's more valuable than somebody giving you something. Laughing at Believing my jokes. in you. Earning Is it. somebody showing you something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, like teaching you. Yeah. Right. No. 
Just laugh Show at my, me. If she right. can laugh at my jokes, I got action. Oh, Johnny. No, because that's how I make my living. <laughs> that's, if, if I tell a joke and you don't, and Tiffany don't laugh, I'm like, oh, shit. I'm a failure. I'm a failure. You know I need what? you to laugh at my, because my, I, if I'm, if I'm hanging out with you and you laughing at my shit, I'm going to write that in the script or I'm going to do that on stage. Right. That's If the girl ain't got a sense of humor, she ain't got, I don't need your money. I don't need your fucking whatever else the girl you say y'all bring it to the table. I don't need none of that shit. I just need you to laugh at my shit to let me know I'm still funny and I can go out there and make a living. That's all I need. Right. So listen, we got about a hundred some odd comments on Facebook that's talking about... It's the same girl. <laughs> that's talking about the causes... Mm. Of unhappiness. Got it. Okay. So we got not being able to follow their dreams. Mm-hmm. That's a cause of unhappiness. Somebody mm-hmm. said themselves. Right. I'm, a, mm-hmm. I'm unhappy because of me. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a very interesting one. Adversity. A lot of people can't deal with adversity. True. Mm-hmm. White people. True. White people can't deal with that. A lot of black people can't either. Well, yeah. Niggas, niggas yeah, can, yeah, black niggas, people. We, we can do that. Uh, expect that uh, niggas all. Not all niggas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can do that. Not Expectations. All. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody said High bad, yeah, bad nutrition. <laughs> what, oh, what is that? Bad nutrition. Yes, Johnny Mac, like chitlin eating ass nigga. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. First nigga. of all, chitlins are healthy. <laughs> what? <laughs> chitlins are healthy. You don't gain no weight from eating chitlins. They go right to the stomach. You got to You got to eat chitlins the on the toilet. <laughs> they go right through you. <laughs> you know I ain't gaining a weight. Look at me right mm-hmm. now. I ain't gained a pound. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else said this is a great one. Comparison. Yes. Uh, Comparison yes. will kill your relationship. For yes, sure. it will. Somebody else said lack of perspective. Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah. You can be fucking miserable because you just got one perspective. One perspective is like one gear in a right, car. Right, right. You got first gear in your mind. <laughs> right. Right. You on a full fight. <laughs> right. Tearing shit up. Goddamn Man. clutch that came loose. <laughs> Tearing shit up. Somebody said life. That's a a, a a reason to be unhappy. Life. That's interesting. I feel like that goes under adversity because that goes into everything. Yeah. Life, like it be on you, man. Man, life is something else. <laughs> life is. Beautiful. Oh, this is a great one. Wanting to be someone else. Mm. God damn! Oh, unhappy. <laughs> How you unhappy with yourself? That's not true. I once saw Thor, and I wanted to be the Hulk. I ain't gonna lie to you. Johnny, I oh wanted to be because Hulk goodness. was whooping ass. I'm like, damn, I could. Hulk is not real. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the character that. <laughs> this is Mustafa Banner over here. <laughs> <laughs> you can want to, you can want to be, some, you can, but you can want to be somebody else, somebody better than what you are. Oh, this no. is Raheem they, Banner. What they call? Right. What they call them? Role models. <laughs> right. Lord. Mentors, it's, people can but, but they're else. they're guides. They're not replacements for you, right? What if I ain't shit? I shouldn't inspire to be somebody better. Somebody can inspire you to be the best you. Yeah, but you still they gotta can't be you. inspire right. you to be a facsimile of them. Right. A good example: all these girls the fuck, getting surgeries Johnny? to look like the Kardashians don't have the Kardashians' money. Like just because right. you look like them and you copied them and you replicated them doesn't make you be them, right? Damn What's Kardashian? <laughs> Any of them. I don't like none of them. <laughs> oh, this is a this is a good one. Lack of fulfillment, mm-hmm. lack of mm-hmm. love in their lives, lack of sex, right. and comparing themselves to others. Let me tell you something about fulfillment. Mm-hmm. Tell me, brother, this shit is in you. You mm-hmm. already full, right? Somebody taught you your cup was half empty, mm-hmm. and that you needed somebody else to pour into you in order for you to be happy. That's Not- a big deal. A big mm-hmm. lie. Nobody right. can fulfill you. Nobody. Do you think Michael Jackson was fulfilled? Yeah. I think he was fulfilled in terms too. of being able. Because somebody asked Michael Jackson once. It was like, um, and 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 bubbles. bubbles there's a accident. couple of things. It wasn't bubbles. <laughs> no, but somebody asked him about his dreams. It was during um, the bad tour, and it was mm-hmm. like, uh, do you feel like? You know, your dreams come true. He said, every one of them. Yeah. That's right. The motherfucker said, every one of them. Yeah, they did. Now, I would also say some of his nightmares yes. came true, too. Right. You know, because of how he was vulnerable and susceptible to people trying to right. pin something on him. Now, White people. Nah, it's crazy, though. You know, but I would say fulfillment is some shit you doing what it is you're called to do. 
Exactly. Vocation. That motherfucker was called mm-hmm. to be sure was. what the fuck he was. Yes, Absolutely. he was. He, and he did that shit at the highest goddamn level. Man, Can't get no higher. nobody can even touch him. Now, Untouchable. I will say there Gucci are Gucci Man is on the same level. No, no, Gucci. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> or no. Nah. But I will say, um, you know, he did have some some holes in his life in terms of being able to connect. Because when you that big, yeah, you right. can't just like I could I could walk out this studio and go right there to the AMPM and get a, a get a soda pop and some chips. Can you imagine this nigga walking into the goddamn AM PM to get No, I'm sure he didn't grocery shop. The he couldn't do Could a do lot show. of just normal shit. So That's there's why but, that but, mask. but that was his normal shit because he'd been famous since he was five years old. So to him, being um famous was his norm. Right. People always say like, oh, Michael Jackson to get a chance to live a, a regular life as a kid. His childhood, like, no, nigga. He was in Gary, Indiana, where the normal was being broke, poverty stricken, right. uh, having a chicken shit job. Yeah. So him being rich and famous was his norm. That right. was his normal, nigga. Now, now he could have threw it all that away and then been working at the goddamn steel mill. No, that's not that's not what he that's not his get down. <laughs> Can you imagine Michael Jackson in the steel? No, not at all. He would have died of cancer like year two, <laughs> little ass. That's now, he would have been little. He would have. He'd have been. You know, he got to have muscles to work at the steel mill. He so, would have been girthy. Yeah, Mike. Mike. Mike was the greatest of all time. I yes, he period. was. What about not living in your purpose mm-hmm. or utilizing your gifts to serve others? I mean, it's a lot of shit. Like a lot of people don't even know what their purpose is. Well, I was just gonna say, I think that's where a lot of that unfulfillment comes from. Is most people are like, I don't know what my my gift is. Right. Everybody don't have a gift. Right. Everybody definitely has a gift, no, but they finding don't. it is, is is unique. No. And some people Wait, don't believe on. in themselves. Everybody don't have a gift. Mm-hmm. Well, this is big. They they don't believe in themselves though. Uh, yeah. They may even know that they can do certain things, but they don't believe they can actually and achieve still scared. it. Yeah. They're too scared to make a move. Some people no. are accustomed everybody, to right where they are. In everybody life. don't have a gift. No, everybody ain't they got might be, the gift might be the clean shoes, but right. they got a gift that's, that's not a shining. Gift. Yes, it is. They might clean shine the shoes a is not a gift. Nigga, that's a goddamn shoes, job. Chamber shoes uh, in I'm, LA make a gang of money. He, they no. shine the hell out your shoes. No, they that's man, not a they gift. Were, a no. gift is something special. But it is uh, something special. It's something that everybody else ain't got. It. It's something that's not ordinary. I, no, I, I can go actually, to the Bible. Well, we're speaking of purpose. We're talking so about purpose. Everybody, 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 got, everybody every, can't do the same everybody, thing. Everybody, everybody can't talk can. at the same time either. Shit. Yeah. Everybody ain't got a purpose. <laughs> everybody sure. ain't got a purpose. Everybody, what? Everybody ain't got a purpose. Everybody has everybody. a purpose. Let me clear this up for me. Everyone no. has a purpose. No. Everybody, everybody's purpose is not the same. And that's where people make a mistake of thinking that their blessing or their purpose is yours and vice versa. Their purpose is their purpose. Their blessing is their blessing. And everyone has to step into where their purpose is mm. and align themselves no. up with it. And when you're not aligned up with it, sometimes that's why people feel uh, vulnerable. They feel weak. They feel sad. They feel mad. They even get mad at they see their other friends fulfilling their dreams and they're not fulfilling theirs. That's where envy right. comes in. Yep. You know, who she thinks she is. She not as good as me. I seem better than her. You know what I mean? I haven't mm-hmm. had my chance. So that's when all the adversity comes in. That's not and true. Y- yes, it is. Everybody, People get jealous. Everyone has a blessing in a gift. That's not true. Everybody either. doesn't have the same you, ones Jenny, and the same you know? amount. That's what I'm saying because just, just, just take what she said. Everybody has a blessing. If you everybody has a, if you got to look at what a blessing is, it's something special. Everybody is special. I, I, I okay, listen to ahead. your whole little okay, get down. Now. I don't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we braid your head now. Everybody, if everybody has the same okay. thing, then it wouldn't be called a blessing. It'd be called the norm. Okay. Am I am I right, Richmond? Am I right? If everybody had the wait, same, wait, let's let's hear that again. Let's let's hear that. A blessing so, is something special, right? Right. And everybody's special. Everybody ain't special. Yes. Everybody is not special. No. If everybody was special, it would be called special. Special and unique mean the same thing, right? You can you can have a play on words, whatever. But everybody ain't. I'm special. just saying, nigga. Do, it does special and unique mean the same thing? I don't know. Let's get to the source. I think uh, they well, do. Every individual, because only one of me, so that'll make me unique. There's only one of you. There's only one of her. So, but everybody's not special. So you special? No. You not special? Am I special? Uh, I'm special because I got talent. Oh, well, so you said talent it differently. No, no, makes it nigga special. No, you're you're no, gauging that's what I'm it differently. Hold on, sweetie. It can be you, you can be a genius. You can be beautiful. Uh, uh, he can play the the drums, whatever, whatever your talent is. But I'm saying, oh, you just can be like like my daughter. Uh, my daughter's a genius, but she can't do regular shit. Like she can't Uber. She get confused. She can't, but she can fucking unravel Einstein theory. Oh, good. 
She's a quantum so, physicist. Like I got a right, great, fr- I got right. a great friend. He's the most talented person in Hollywood. But this motherfucker, if you go to his house, every door is open, every cabinet, his refrigerator. He loses keys. He loses wallet. But he can act and sing and play the piano. But that yeah, you're special. gauging, you're gauging special as like as you just said, talent. I when I say special, but I said I said you could be a genius, so you can. No, have- no, no, no. Let me be very clear. Like for me, it means vocation. A purpose in which you were put on the world for doesn't necessarily mean monetarily or mean your job. Exactly. Because what your purpose is and how you make money might be different. Right. Some people, I, this is when I life coach people, I say you, sometimes what you love to do will make money or sometimes you'll make money to do what you love to do. Maybe right. you really love to just race yachts. So, do what? so you're going to be a CEO of a company because that money from being a CEO is what actually fuels your passion, which is the yachts. Like what what you do for a job isn't necessarily always what you do in your life purpose. Right. So it doesn't have to be but a talent necessarily. You still can't say everybody is special because that'll make it the norm. You can't say it's that, normal for everybody to be considered special. Yeah. That's, yes. that's bullshit. Yes, it's everybody's special. I got, you just I got, ain't met everybody. Nigga. I got nine right. brothers and sisters in my right. fucking. I, it's ten of us and them niggas. The other nine ain't shit. Okay. They ain't special. But it, uh, yeah, I think ah! you schedule yeah, it monetarily. It. I'm yeah. not scheduling monetarily. Yeah. That's they're what I'm saying. In their own I'm way, not, whatever no, they do. Not, that's not true. You're they not might spe- be good parents. They might be whatever they, they <laughs> special. Whatever they do, I'm just saying people have special. Being a good gifts. parent is not special. That's the say, norm. That's what you're supposed but, to be. But some people never make it to be parents. Some not people being a bad, bad parent. Some people are bad parents. Some people never make it to be a parent. Some people have parents that don't teach them shit. So there's all types of things. There's grandma like back in the day. They had grandma that would be making them greens. And we'll be telling no. you, baby, and have some wisdom. And some grandmas can't tell you shit because they don't know shit to tell you. So No. Okay. Hell Somebody no. said, nigga, just because you good at talking shit don't make you special. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, they talking about me. They talking about you yeah. in the chat room. I hope that nigga phone freezes. <laughs> <laughs> How about that, nigga? Now type but that. yeah, I, I think a I lot of people. I can't go with that. I think I a can't. lot of people struggle because they don't. They, they don't figure out what their purpose is or they don't know how to utilize it. Or even worse, like I think Mimi had said, they they have discovered what it is and they're unwilling to do what it takes to actually utilize it. Like a lot of people right. do have talent. Mm-hmm. A lot I've met some people who are amazing singers, but Thank they you. won't do what it takes to right. actually bring that to the place they know they probably meant to be on this earth. They're scared. Right. Right. So it's like, well, now you're going to probably always feel a little unfulfilled. Because you didn't walk in your purpose, which was you are supposed to be uncomfortable and be famous and be in the spotlight and share your voice with the world, but you're no, they're too not. scared. So those people, those people are not supposed to be famous or whatever the mother thing. Well, who say. says, Johnny? You? Because if that's what you're supposed to be, that's what you'd be doing. If it's in you, no. everybody doesn't like, make their purpose. Saying, everybody don't God make it, it to their purpose. Yeah, yeah. Listen, mm-hmm. what I'm saying everyone doesn't make their purpose. Then, then that ain't your purpose. No, if you have Maybe your one. purpose was not to make it. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what Maybe, I'm saying. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Maybe your purpose was not to make it. Well, that could be it. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I can't. I For can't a man go with who that. quotes the scripture, that was sure some anti-Jesus like right. messaging. You no, 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 no. Right. I can quote the scripture. When Christ said He walked no. through the city, gave a man one talent, five and ten. Right? Oh, he didn't shit. get a written. Other people in the city didn't get shit. <laughs> That he gave they just named those, those no, no, no. examples. He said, they, didn't, they can oh, go no, through the no, whole no, town. No, no, you can't tell me what Jesus did because Jesus what he, he gave. What he, what he said, she can't tell you what Jesus did. What Jesus said was was right on. He didn't. He didn't. It ain't no gray area. It's black and white, right? So he gave a man one talent and he didn't utilize his talent. He wouldn't bury it. Another man five and another man ten. The other people in that city didn't get nothing. But because what's the rest of the scripture? That though, don't mean right? that other people didn't what's have the rest talent of the because they he went to his father and they could have all. Been more right. No. The end of the scripture is that the man was the end of the scripture to, is the, the man, man with the one talent. Hold on now. The end of the scripture is the man with the one talent took it and buried it because he said, "I knew you was a hard taskmaster, and I knew you're going to want this talent back." Right. And then God took that talent from him because he didn't use it. That's the end of the scripture. Right. But my point is, what exactly language what was it written in, Johnny? Was, if you first didn't, is, uh, Hebrew. He, he, how you say it, Hebrew? How you say it? <laughs> Well, it wasn't originally in Hebrew. It was in Aramaic, if I'm not mistaken. But whatever it was, it came down to the Gentiles, and I thank God for that. But what I'm saying is the the real point of that was they all actually were given talent. But if you choose not to tap into it, doesn't mean it wasn't there. And it means you chose not to right, fulfill your purpose. That's why he buried it. He, he could have gotten five or right. 10 or 25, but he, he chose choose. not to. Exactly. So you actually right. just no. proved my point. Yes. Yes. So that's, wait, that's wait, 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 wait. No. This is what we're going to do. Yes, this please. Choose not to. Hold on. Yes, please. Uh, Let's just have a, a 20 second music break. Amen. <laughs> just, I hate this song, but turn it up, though. <laughs> turn it up. <laughs> 
I had to regain control of this room. That's a dope track right there. Thank you, brother. You did that? No, my homeboy James Broadway. That shit is dope. He's an amazing producer. Been doing it for many, many years. That shit is dope right there. Welcome back to the Voice of Reason. I had to reboot the topic because these niggas here are just wild lemurs. I'm a special mm-hmm. nigga. Though. Oh <laughs> shit, special. Woo. What are misery <laughs> addicts? And if you tuned in, you probably was miserable listening to all that <laughs> shit. We apologize for ruining your life. <laughs> I don't. I did it on purpose. Oh, shit. Misery addicts is today's topic. Mm-mm-mm. The straight up truth about why you are miserable in your relationships, in your life. Maybe it's just you. A lot of people don't want to say it's you. That's the hardest acknowledgement mm-hmm. to make. Is to say, it's me. If, if I was in six relationships and I was miserable in all six, maybe it's me. Maybe it's just me. You think so? Yeah. The common denominator. Exactly. The least common denominator. You know, it's, a lot of me. people don't, you know how people are. Mm-hmm. Them six niggas fucked up. Right. <laughs> but, but that's America. America is always somebody else's problem. It's always somebody else's fault. I'm sorry. Wow. It's always somebody else's fault. How many people actually take uh, credit or blame for themselves? Mm. Like even the guys that's called in, she did this and, and, and the girl, the crazy girl, he <laughs> did this. You just going to call her crazy? That girl was crazy. You know she was crazy. She was a little touched. Yeah. <laughs> Zoe got great tag lines. That nigga tag lines. <laughs> all she got to do but, is take her hands off herself. She'll be all right. right. But look, she, she had courage to talk she about She probably it, gave herself a restraining order. Look what you did to me. No, it was you. But nobody takes credit or the blame for themselves. It's always somebody else's fault. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's always a big deal. I always say... You should be a claimer instead of a blamer. But then when they succeed or they become mm-hmm. successful, it's always, look what I did. Right. I struggled. Mm-hmm. I didn't have a good mother. I did this. It's all You get all the accolades because you succeed. Right. But if it's somebody, if you fuck up, oh, Zoe didn't call me on time. Mm. I was supposed to be at 5 and he didn't call me to 435. Nigga, you knew you were supposed to be at 5 o'clock. He told you last week. <laughs> somebody said you were equating talent with purpose. You fucked up. That nigga don't know shit. That was a woman. Okay, she don't know shit. Her name is Pam. Pam. Hey, Pam, girl. <laughs> hey. We fuck with you, Pam Coleman. Get out of here. She yeah. don't even know her name's back, backwards. It's map. And she on the map. <laughs> she on the map right now, nigga. That's her purpose. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, she needs to map quest herself. She probably got varicose veins. Uh, oh, shit. That's what I do. I'm here to bring you down. <laughs> Johnny is a classic insult artist. I am. One of the right. greatest of all times. But only people I talk bad about is people that's like doing great. Like if you wasn't <laughs> if you wasn't attractive, I would never like I have had a friend this, <laughs> this friend uh I had this girl, I ain't going to say her name, but she had a friend that was so ugly, I called her hideous. I've never seen somebody that ugly. But I paid for her dinner, I paid for her valet, <laughs> I did everything for that girl. Who are you talking about, Johnny? Do I know this person? You do know her. Oh, no. shit. Oh, man. She's fine, but a friend won't shit. Only talk about you if you're great. If you ain't doing shit, I ain't, I'm going I'm to talk bad about you. So it's a compliment <laughs> that you insulting us. You got them right. Oh, shit. Oh, got you okay. got them right. Oh, shit. Ladies got it, and Johnny. gentlemen. Now, when you fall off, I'm like, oh, look at Tiffany. You look so great. When you fall off. <laughs> right. Okay. And I want you to fall off like a loose Halloween man. I want, to, I want that motherfucker to, to hit the no. bottom. Hell to the no. All right, listen. I got to wrap it up. Mimi, where can they find you? <laughs> you can find Cooking. me at Keeping It Real with Mimi on all social medias. Check us out tomorrow night, acceleratedradio.net. Tune in 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Keeping It Real with Mimi. You know how we do it. We're going to be acting crazy as usual. Right, right, right. Johnny Mac is going to be going to work pretty soon. That's on true. Another, Start Monday. On a, yeah, on another get down. So oh, we, shit. We yeah. tried to get him in here a couple of times before he had to go back to his regular schedule. What's your schedule, Pimp? Um... I guess I, I guess we start at ten to six. I start I start back on this show Monday. Yeah, you know what I'm right. saying as a writer, as a writer, yeah, yes. that's right. And, uh, I guess it's ten to six. But Johnny you know, Mac keep niggas funny. Yeah, we, we but, but great thing about being a writer, they can never really tell you nothing. They can't tell me to be there at ten o'clock because they don't want to fuck up the creativity. Like ah, I want to eat first. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm dead serious. Because ah. uh, the, the show I'm working on is at CBS, 
And uh, I, I went to the Grove every fucking day. And I had uh, Moscow Mules every day about like 12, 1230. And I would drink like two or three of them motherfuckers and I'd come back. <laughs> Nobody right. said nothing. Yeah, we needed that little story. But that's fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tip talk. Where can oh we find you, baby girl? Goodness. Shit talk. You can find me. Not really. You can find me on all social media at Tiff Talk TV, T I F F T A L K T V, or on my website at Tiffany Ram R A M M dot com. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. You've been listening to the Voice of Reason. Where can we find you? Zoe? Even though it wasn't quite reasonable, I'm actually here where you find me. But yeah, even though we weren't quite reasonable tonight. This was a fun show. I appreciate everybody for chiming in. Chat room, we appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. We'll be back Friday with another heater. 5 to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Dash Talk Radio. Zoe Williams, I'm out. Deuces. Deuces. (laughs)